Uh, we live. Uh, we live. Fantastic. Okay, let's continue space exploration. Um, so I was going to throw together a little something like this that would fit in uh, in the gantry that we've got here for building the space trucks so that I could uh, make a few more perhaps, resupply them easily and so on. A fat boy not so slim. Good to see you again. A oh, welcome, welcome. Hope you're doing well. Um, and basically, I started with I started with the existing space truck design, and then decided to see. It, you know, it went from there basically. Um, and then it. As it turned out, uh, I was actually able to just barely uh, fit this energy beam receiver in uh, with barely any more space taken up. Resub time. Much appreciated. Thank you, Fatboot. Uh, so... I'm thinking of replacing all the existing uh, space trucks with this. We just need to put energy beam uh, transmitters pointing at the pickup and or drop off points um, for all of the uh, space trucks. Um, there's a few advantages to this. Uh, the only downside is I wasn't able to fit it in perfectly, so... Oh yeah, we're doing a little bit more deconstruction here. Uh, I, I wasn't able to fit it in perfectly, so... Let me just do a copy-paste. Well, a copy, anyway. Just to illustrate the size of this. Uh, I will have to make some slight modifications to the existing uh, pick-up and drop-off stations, perhaps. But the only change I'm going to have to make here is to move these... Um, move these little extra storage areas. Um, it's really not that big of a deal. Uh, and on the... Uh, at the pickup stations, let's see. Morpheus, uh, here's one of our pickups. Uh, we actually won't have to change anything at all. Um, I think we're going to have to move, or it'll it'll automatically be destroyed. Uh, a little bit of the hazard concrete here as well, if we don't move that up, up the front. Um, but yeah, that's it. Just that little bit of hazard concrete and move these things over a little bit or just not use them. Um, so the upshot, the, the downsides of, uh, this new build, um, obviously it takes up slightly more space, but it doesn't really matter at all. Um, we've already got, whoops, why am I... Why are we capitalized? Uh, we've already got some of our spaceships running uh, 27 green chests apart from the ones that feed and uh, apart from the ones that support the nuclear power. Uh, this one is able to take off from Morpheus, which has a radius of, let's see, 4177. Uh, well, more importantly, it's able to take off from Nalvis. I think, uh, I think Nalvis is the biggest planet that our, uh, spaceships are having to take off from. So, 5692. Um, it's able to, I'm 
Yeah, I, I, I double checked. It will be able to take off from here. Uh, we've got the reason I was looking at that one. Upgrade. Uh, this one's container stress is 894. Hull stress has barely increased. Whereas the new design with the beam receiver, uh, we're actually looking at so far significantly less we could either go for significantly less hull stress uh container stress which means it'll be cheaper to take off uh or we can use the four uh storage chests that were supporting the nuclear stuff um for more container space and obviously it also comes with the upshot of um, not running out of nuclear fuel, not needing to resupply nuclear fuel. Uh, I would like to at least use one chest uh, to still be able to resupply the outposts uh, and or expand them. Like we've got um, here. Do they all need a transmitter? That'll be a lot. Um, they, we don't point the transmitters at the ships when they're in motion. So the first one of these, for instance, whenever it parks here, um, it just receives heat from uh, this, I think it's this one, uh, this energy beam emitter is always pointed here. Uh, and whenever this ship lands, it receives heat. Uh, and these uh, energy beam receivers have a ridiculous heat capacity. Um, at 10,000 degrees, it's actually enough for many, many trips. Uh, so probably... I wouldn't want to risk it, but it's probably enough... To just have an energy beam transmitter at Nalvis, I mean at uh, Calidus, pointed at the drop off stations at Nalvis. So maybe eight of those, uh, if we're even going to be using these two. Which I don't think we will. Um. But just for just to be safe, I'll put energy beam transmitters at the uh, pickup stations as well. Uh, to this end as well, we've also come to Angelus, uh, and we're ready to uh, to start using beamed power here. Uh, while we're in Angelus, I thought I may as well grab the, uh, what is this planet called? Sanj? Uh, it is much, it, it is a, is, it is a lot of radius, um, free copper, no biters. Uh, the only challenge here is we're not going to have spaceships landing on the planet. Um, so... Space elevators are coming soon, TM. We have to assume they're never coming functionally. So what we're going to have to do here, I think, is delivery cannons. Yeah, I think we're going to... I think what we're going to do to get copper from Sanj into our spaceships is fire delivery cannons into orbit uh, and pick them up. Hmm. I could... I could send... It would just cost more energy, right? I could send... Uh, since uh, Morpheus orbit is much closer to the interstellar map. Uh, I could build the orbital station around Morpheus. Uh, we would need more delivery cannons because they'd take longer to charge. 
and we need more electricity, but that's no problem. It doesn't cost any extra explosives or anything, weirdly enough, um, to send this all the way over here instead of in orbit of sand. So that might make a better staging area. Uh, thank you very much for the six months, fat boy. Much appreciated. There it is, was hiding. Did it take that long to pop up? Get the pyramid on Sanj as well? Yes. Okay, uh, so first of all, let's, um, let's land over here. And we've planned this stuff out. It'll mostly get built um, for us. I also need to... Uh, so let's see, each of these is going to be 6 gigawatts uh, energy beam emitters. Um, I'll just double check again how much we get out of our power plant. Uh, 240 times 10 megawatts, 2.4 gigawatts. Uh... So we really... Wait, why was I connecting so many of these? Won't that just suck up more energy than we need to produce? Mobile app didn't appear, did after reopening. I used mobile for chat, watch on big TV. I see. Okay. Uh, so we're going to be needing some... Oh. Right. Let's put this back. That wasn't, an that wasn't enough. Wait, did I not bring more media defense installations? I did not. Okay. Oh wait, we do have four more. I should have brought twice as many of this so that I can uh, build this outpost as well on the same trip. That was a mistake. Maybe Morpheus has some? Um, the spaceships should be bringing one at a time, just in case they need replacing. So... I could... Uh, I don't want to have to land on Morpheus, it might be the easiest way. I could dock with... Is this two ships? I think it is. Two isn't enough. Can we make some on Morpheus? How many... What What if we've got some stored on Morpheus? I don't think we do. Uh, we have... The one that we've got stored, I think, is here, actually. Okay. Let's do... A requester chest. And we'll take... Um... A bunch of... Installations. And I might just land on Morpheus when we need those. Um, but for now, I'm not sure why the bots aren't trying to build that. Let me just... Okay, I have no rover... My rover port is switched off right now. It's definitely in range. Oh, there's no storage chest. How many bots do we have? 35. Okay. Also, we need some more power. Um, let's put this here for now. And then... Uh, I would like some solar panels. A Veldak. 
good to see you again. Oh, welcome, welcome. Hope you're doing well. Maybe I shouldn't have should have landed the ship like here or something. How many burgers can your ship carry? Uh, the new one, um, depending on if I want to use the four chests that were supporting the nuclear power on the older design, uh, it could carry 31, uh, sorry, 35? Wait, what? No, I think, I think that, I think that goes over the edge. Yeah, 31, um, chests full of burgers. Although, I think I'll make it 30. I, I want one chest to contain resupply items. Nice, indeed. Uh, yeah, 31... I forget where it was, but Morpheus. I think uh, I think I upgraded or marked for upgrade all of our Morpheus chips, um, and they've got thirty-one chests. Why do I see twenty-nine here? Oh, there it is. I was looking for the for the passive provider chests. Um, yeah, the second uh, the uh, I upgraded one of these on um, Nalvis to make sure that it could take off with this many chests, and it just barely can. Beldak has a point. With that many delivery trucks, you have an empire. Yeah, um, I was thinking as well. We don't. We we won't need as many ships. Um, I don't know how much of an imp. Uh, impact on UPS that's going to have. Um, but we definitely don't need quite as many ships uh, for the same throughput, obviously. We'll be going from... Uh, what is it? Like 16 chests? Where's one of the old ones? How about Deadwood? Uh, we're going from only 10 chests for the old design, for the actual, uh, for the actual product that we're transporting. And then four of these chests, a ratio of 10 to 4, like four of those chests, uh, four of 24 chests were, um... Yeah, that's like 40% of our chest space was being used to support the nuclear power. As opposed to... 30 to 1. Uh, we're just going to use one chest, probably, to support the outposts. So that's actually um, tripling. Wow, it's not even doubling, it's tripling how much throughput these ships have, if we ignore that they're going to go a, a bit slower, um, because of the increased hull stress, container stress. But yeah, we probably need, like, half or less as many ships to support the same throughput when we replace these. Er, good to see you again. Welcome, welcome. Hope you're doing well. Okay, so let's continue building this outpost. Uh, why are the bots confused? Oh, are we out of power already? Uh, let's... Let's lend them a hand. Why are they coming to me? Uh... That's confusing. Start getting some solo down as quickly as possible. 
We're not actually out of power, are we? We are. Uh-oh. Well, let's get as many of these down as quickly as we can. Why are you... coming to me? Don't we have any... There's only logistic bots in here. That might explain a thing or two. Actually, they had to... Oh, I think they trans transferred themselves from this robot network to um, to mine because it ran out of electricity. That's unhelpful. Do we have power yet? Oh, it's trying to power everything. Oh, um... How about... Uh... How about we just... Don't... For the moment, with this? Burger train photos in Discord? Sounds delicious. Alright, how's our power looking? Yeah. Because it's going to take a while for those to charge up, and I think they might continue taking... What was it? Uh, 6, 12, 24 gigawatts of power? Even if they're not do any, doing anything? Uh, let's send some bots to the robot network here. Like all of them. Oh. Oh, that was surprisingly easy. To jump across the wall again. And... That should get... Construction, 100 out of 100. Oh, they're recharging still. Or is that not what's happening here. Turn off personal logistics. Now we've got 200. Actually, I don't think they're going to personal logistics themselves back. Oh yeah, we brought a ton of bots. Okay. What science is next to do? Uh, that would be... Uh, I didn't say mechanical. Uh, material science and um, bioscience. We need to do all four of the tier four cards still, I believe. Um, although last... Oh, here it is. Last thing, I was trying to chase down negative pressure data. Um, although that actually traced back to not having aeroframe scaffolds. Uh, and I did some stuff on Nalvis to fix that. I don't remember exactly. Okay, this isn't in motion right now, so that's not looking that good. Uh, I did want to update this block. Where is it? We don't actually need... Um... We don't actually need one of these train stations. Provide threshold one. Um, and it's very, very convenient and easy to send these all up on the same belt. Actually, what's the max throughput here? Uh, more than half a belt. Okay. Uh... Well, that's actually super inconvenient. Um, I lied. Let me think about this. And by think about this, I mean, let's not change anything for now. Um, because this is working for the moment. There's no 
belt bottleneck or anything. Uh, apparently there was a bot in range. Oh no. Now we do need to send the spiders. Just because I made that little change ahead of time. Yeah, not sure where I'm going to squeeze a second belt through here. To reach this spot. Might be a bit messy in any case. Okay. Uh, so, we'll leave the bots to... Actually, let me just throw down some temporary construction pylons. And we'll see the limits of exactly how far these bots will go before they keep giving up. Despite having bottlenecks all over my base, rushing for sun power looks like it's worth it. Yeah, uh, it really streamlines some things. I mean, okay, I don't think we could have realistically had energy beaming back when we had uh, trouble supplying enough uranium for a while. But imagine if I... I was going to say, this, this this goes even further to we wouldn't have had it at the time, but imagine if I didn't have to build all this. If I could have built... I suppose... Hmm. I suppose it would have been possible. I mean, like, on a future playthrough, we could have a layout for our nuclear reactors. Um, we, we could put, like... Probably four nuclear reactors in here. And then replace it with an energy beam receiver later on. I like that idea a lot. It would be a lot of work uh, to make the complete set of uh, blueprints. But if you were to... I mean, this is true of vanilla as well. Uh, if you were to make a complete set of blueprints, um, you could really power through the game from start to finish. Uh, so, I forgot these spiders were also carrying all of this stuff, except maybe the beam receivers. Let's throw down another one of these. Very, very carefully. Fantastic. And what did we calculate? 2.4 gigawatts? Because our bottleneck is 240 um, heat exchanges. Uh, currently on Nalvis, we're consuming... Let's call it 12 gigawatts of power. Um, so if we make, oh, exactly five of these things uh, and feed it enough power from the orbit of the sun, we can actually run literally everything on Nalvis off of five of these. Um... That's pretty cool. Currently, we've of course got a massive excess of power available. I don't think I have... I think I left some receivers here. I did not. Alright, we'll come back to that. Um, but this is all but built already. 
Nice, I was around 50 gigawatts when I finished, cool. Version 0.5115 dropped 7 hours ago and it's getting ready for a big tech tree update. And the space elevator is stated, uh, slated for that 0.6 patch as well. Interesting. Very interesting. Uh, maybe... Uh, I don't know. It's been coming soon, TM, for such a long time. I don't want to, like, wait for it. For Sanj, for example. Uh, and then have to rebuild our infrastructure. What do we have here? Two media defense installations? I I'm kind of waiting on getting, like, ten of those before we build out Sanj anyway. Alright, how's our outpost looking here? We are getting there. I actually do want to add just a little bit of um, Holmium Accumulators to this. Uh, for two reasons, apart from just filling out that space, uh, superchargers in particular, and le we're also we're also al always running media defense installations, so there will always be something um, that can consume, let's call it extra power. Uh, There is always a little something to take advantage of accumulators, I guess. That in combination with, like, just how ridiculously thirsty bot recharge can be for a very, very short time. Just a little bit of accumulator makes some sense. The tech tree changes might screw me over, so updating right away not be the best idea either. Up uh, felt good. Good to see you again. Welcome, welcome. Hope you're doing well. Um, I believe there was a... Oh, yeah, that's right. I made another outposter by remote control. I can't remember where I was sending it. Uh, it oh, here we go. Outposter 2 is heading to Capella's orbit, and the reason for that is uh, I kind of sort of forgot to build Meteor defense installations um, for this one. <laughs> My bad. Can we fit a bunch of them here? Probably not as many as I would like. Um, yeah, nowhere near. We're going to need some scaffolding for the media defense installations. I guess while we're here... So, hang on, this is 6 gigawatts. And it's pointed at 2.4 gigawatts worth of... Um, heat exchanges. So, that's a little bit of a waste. Um, I think. Because this will consume power even if it's not needed. Yeah, we didn't have to build this much. On the plus side, we've already got the power. We can just... Uh, hmm... I could probably even just remove a couple of these, put another um, beam emitter here, and that is going to point at where our ships are going to land. We don't need a whole lot of energy uh, to heat these up. Yeah, I think that'll be fine.
We've currently got 7 gigawatts available. Um, installations. 20 megawatts when charging. Let's suppose... Let's pretend they're always charging. That's 360 megawatts. Uh, so we would need... Well, no, wait, four, four gigawatts. Five gigawatts. Hang on, how much? This is seven. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven. Okay. So, five, six gigawatts is actually all we need. We've got a decent amount to spare. I think even if I remove these ones... Uh, 75 times 12.2 is 900. Okay, it's more than I thought. I'll need to throw down some scaffolding for some solar panels. I'll keep these ones here and out some scaffolding just for the media defense installations. Um, how big are they exactly? That's the wrong one. They are nine by nine. One, nine by nine. I'm sure we can fit 10 tiles here. How much is this? 1.2k? We've got way more than that on its way. Uh, not as much as I thought, but yeah, more than enough. Okay. So, Cap Capellus Orbit, um, Installation, uh, I was hoping to fit 18 here, how many channels have we got, 4 times 32, uh, 128 divided by 10 is 12, we can't actually fit them here. I want to go overkill and make sure we have, um, like, 18 of these at all of the solar outposts. Because I really, really don't want to have to come back here to fix damaged stuff. Hey, who's Mike? Good to see you again. Welcome, welcome. Hope you're doing well. Alright, so the butts actually do get as far as this reaches so far. Oh, I think I'm the only one carrying these uh, radar construction pylons. Oh, they just gave them back to me, didn't they? Could you place some of those? Where are you going with that? Oh, okay. But what about actually upgrading this? Upgrades seem to be an incredibly low priority on uh, the bot system checking if, uh, like, looking for a job that needs to be done and assigning it. To the point where, when I ran upgrade planners over a bunch of solar panels, uh, it seemed like we were better off just deconstructing them all and then placing them again. Let's throw down a supercharger, and that'll help a lot. All right, what should we do in the meantime? Uh, let's get back in this, sh actually, 
yeah, no. Let, let's get back in the ship so we're not burning um, life support. And where are we right now? Morpheus. Angulus. Uh, I would love to... I don't suppose we can fit a receiver in this build? No, we'll put one on either side to convert the old nuclear power. At least it'll be not quite symmetrical, damn. Um, we'll put a receiver on either side of the existing nuclear reactors um, to get that heat to them. So that'll be how much? Uh, how much heat do we need to support Morpheus? Uh, one hundred and twelve times ten megawatts. Is it? Yep. So one point one two gigawatts. That's only only a couple of injectors. Do we already have that? 940 megawatts, we're already getting close. Uh, let's throw down... some solar power. Uh, do I want to upgrade the power on Morpheus, though? I mean, maybe at some point, but right now... Oh yeah, we were actually trying to add more drills, but we were we had to stop because of power limitations. So where are we gonna put our uh, our new power plant? I keep being surprised at how small these things are. Compared to my expectations, anyway. Uh, it's actually... Here's one of the older nuclear reactor designs. Um, this is 112 heat exchangers. Which can be perfectly supported by the reactors. Uh, this one is 240. And it is of comparable size. It's like 20... 30% bigger uh, in the north-south direction. It's not like, you know, this big. Much, much, much more compact for what it's doing. And I really do love the layout for this one. Uh, I believe we brought everything we need to build that out. We've got 480 steam engines. We can build one of these. Uh, 247 heat exchangers. Maybe not enough heat pipe. Because I think I put in enough heat pipe to support uh, this build. The last nuclear reactor we made. 672... This actually needs less heat pipe. That's a nice design. How much power does each produce? Uh, we've got exact ratios. Um, the 103 uh, steam to 60 consumed. Uh, the, the smallest that we can make for this is a quarter of this reactor. I think. Uh, so this is 60. This is 240 heat exchangers, 10 megawatts each, so 2.4 gigawatts. Uh, 
And if we go much bigger, we might start to have trouble with heat pipe throughput or having to do double thick pipes or something. So I think this is a... Uh, uh, this this is perfection. It it couldn't possibly get any better. Uh, I will never regret that statement. It has to be accurate. We've we've done it. This is as, this is perfection. Looks very beautiful. Thank you. Uh, so yeah, I think we've got enough stuff to build one of those reactors here. But first, of course, let's actually build our power infrastructure out. Um, so we're going to need to convert this... Oh, wait, how many... That's a, that's a good point, actually. How many did I bring? One, two, three, four, five receivers. If I use two receivers to upgrade the existing... Do we even need to? I could just get rid of the old reactor. Yeah, we don't strictly have to keep using this thing, although it will make it easier in the meantime. Um, put a receiver here, a receiver here. Or maybe just... No, as soon as I build a bigger reactor and send power down to that, uh, set a beam, uh, beam energy down to that, um, we can tear this one up. Okay, I think we probably will do that. Uh, so we've got... How many receivers? Um, five rec uh, Sorry, there's five in this chest. And how many... One, two... Oh, three, four, five, six. Oh, make that six receivers as well. I think I brought enough to do whatever I want on this one trip. Uh, I wanted to build this reactor here. But Okay, so we're going to want at least one receiver here. Uh, at least one on Morpheus. And at least one in Morpheus orbit. I think it might just be better... Yeah, no, it's such a... Okay, after traveling the interstellar gulf, it really isn't that big of a deal for our ships to keep going down this way to come to Sanj orbit, right? Um, it is a bit of a distance, but... Uh, even with, like, video game scaling, that's, like, the not incomprehensibly vast here, like, the amount of, the, the vast majority of the travel time is between the stars. I don't... Especially if we might get to replace this with the space elevator, um, this playthrough. I would like to build this infrastructure here. The delivery cannons, um, won't take as long to recharge, so we won't need as many of them, so replacing them will be less of a hassle. And we'll have the orbital base to connect this to. Yeah, I think I like that idea better. Okay, how is our outpost coming along? Surprisingly well, actually. Whoops.
I think I will make a version of this blueprint that is better for building it out initially. We're going to put a radar construction pylon here and a supercharger right next to it. And some accumulators, of course. What the? Oh. Oh, look at it go. Are we done with the scaffolding? Uh, let me just try placing this again. Okay, so I think I will overwrite this one. Select new contents from here. And then we can just copy paste this across. Oh, can we though? Uh, how far does this reach? 64 by 64. Supply area 64 by 64. Uh, that doesn't sound right. This does not look like 64 by 64. What am I looking for? The, the supply area is the electricity. Oh, there it is. Um... 256 by 256 construction and vision area. Oh yeah, no, uh, the construction pylons will already connect if this doesn't reach far enough, but I think it would anyway. That's kind of super convenient. Wait, so this wouldn't have to be a construction pylon, technically? Although, if I did just put the superchargers, um, the bots wouldn't reach... Like, this corner. At the edge of the entire thing. Okay. Uh, so now? How much do we need in Morpheus? Is it better if I just overdo it? Probably. How many solar panels do we have? 658. 706. Uh, 1364. 254. Uh, we can do an, another five of these. Let's go with four for now. And I'll build it down this way, just so that we can see uh, how effective this self-expanding design is. Is there an ETA for the space elevator? I've got only the rumors. Uh, I don't know. And I I'm sort of not going to believe in it until it's done. And that's not to, like, doubt these specific devs or something. That's just, like, a blanket policy. Pium. I love how they charge so quickly. They just sort of bounce off of this thing. Okay, uh, what should we be doing in the meantime? Probably 
checking out the star around Deadwood. Wait, no. Capellus. Outposter 2 has arrived. Let's anchor. And I think I would like to put this here for now. Um, did we give you radar construction pylons? I certainly hope so. Uh, yes. Yep, there they are. Good. Alright, let's upgrade these ones. Just a little bit of accumulator. Don't tell me we're just out of range to make that happen. Uh, let's put this here. And then... Uh, we need some media defense installations. Why are they taking so long to build this? Radar construction pylon. Put one here. Construction bots. 51 available. 48, was it? Radar construction pylons available. And they're just not building them right now. I don't understand. Oh, I... Wait, what? Raid... Oh, that was the wrong one. Okay, radar construction pylon. That's my bad. Don't tell me I was upgrading these other ones to the wrong one as well. No, these are fine. Or maybe that's why those weren't getting replaced. Okay. Oh, I didn't count if we had enough scaffolding. Uh, 4.8k plus 2.2... And we need 12k. Uh, I don't think we have enough. So let's not. What do we got here? Two more tiles or one? That looks like one. I think. place this again. Alright, back to Capellus. How many construction bots have we got? 53. That is... A little bit slow. But yeah, we can fit these here, right? Seems good. Rate calculator... No. I know I activated and deactivated some mods for different saves, but that doesn't mean I need your tutorial again. Why don't we do this? Uh, so this will be eight. Uh, I want like six times three, right? Let's 
so that'll go to here. does get slower the further out they go. Probably just as well I'm not building here for now. Um, I kind of want to build some science while we wait for that. What are our spiders doing over here? Oh, that's right. Yeah, I was trying to make sure... I was trying to fix dark energy data before... We had no negative because we had no aeroframe scaffolds, and I think I've mostly fixed that uh, bottleneck, although I don't actually remember entirely what it traced back to. Um, it was probably... Well, I guess it was just beryllium. Period. Uh... Yeah, I may have done something to fix that. Oh, there were some broken uh, balanced loaders here. That was actually causing a problem. Yeah. Uh, let's just assume everything's flowing for now until we find out it isn't. I, I do see that we've got... Oh. Oh. Well, there's your problem. Hold on. Wait, wait. Before we do that. Uh, what's our output of final product here? Negative... No, dark energy data. 24.48. Why do we have a little sushi belt? Oh, that's not a sushi belt. Copy pasted from the last design. That's just going to go there. And away it goes. Fantastic. Dark energy data is in the rail network. That was the one that I accidentally kind of sort of forgot to do for Astro 4 because I accidentally did a uh, zero point energy data twice um, and then just counted oh we've done one two three four um, tier four astro data things so it must be finished uh, nope not quite all right so that's how that's astro four actually complete uh Next, I think we wanted to do material signs. I'll send those spiders back to the mall for a second. What's this train looking for? Processing units. Interesting. Uh, why are you looking for processing units in this location? We're only asking for 16k. Provide stack threshold is 200. Shouldn't have got to the point of loading these from here. But it's probably fine. Uh... Oh, we did make a starter material for. We've built... Experimental Alloys Data. Uh, that's down here. Electrical Shielding. Oh, that's right. Yeah, we needed uh, Space Platform Plating Mass-Produced. For Particle Beam Shielding Data. I've done that down here. Very nice, neat, simple layout. Uh, we've got all of the ingredients for space platform scaffolding coming in up here. 
It seems we've run out of low density structures. That is concerning. Uh, steel on its own belt because steel needs to support space platform plating as well. Um, but two belts because three items. Shared belt for the heat shield and LDS. Uh, and then I've just shaped it so that we've got the pretty much the exact same layout here. Uh, and we're using the steel. Bringing in some uh, girders. And then shoving our scaffolding onto the same belt as the girders. Uh, I did do something a little bit different this time. With our... Uh, Precise loader station. Um, in, uh, I, I've reduced the combinator count by one by making sure that we've got a multiple of four. Well, okay, it's it doesn't have to be four specifically, but because the cargo wagons have 40 stacks, if we have uh, a number of inserters that divides evenly into 40 stacks, um, we're and we control the stack size, we're not going to end up with that little remainder at the end. Uh, haven't actually tested this yet, although I guess it's more than possible that... What do we got? Products finished 400, and... It's hard to know exactly how many for this block. 8.4k, that might just be... we haven't picked this up yet. What's happening with LDS? Low density structures... uh-oh. We're missing copper. Wait, copper? We've got 173,000 right here, why are you... What are you doing here with copper ore? And where are you even going with it? And why... This is actually the first time I've seen a train trying to leave through this uh, station. But it's decided to do it when there's a train in the way. Okay, but why did we end up with copper ore here? Um, we've actually got a signal here to say, don't offer copper ore at this station. It's very strange. Also, if these, if any of these trains are queuing up for this station right here, oh, there's so many. What is happening? Oh no. Oh, this does not look good. Are you the culprit? I think you are. I, I think all of this might be stopped just ultimately because of that one train. We've got our little highway that's acting like a stacker here. This train's waiting its turn to go to the same spot. And then these ones are waiting for that one. And so on. Not great. How's our build here going? Much better. Okay. This goes here. Probably don't need the superchargers down there, but it's fine. Kind of an interesting pattern. Do -do -do, do -do -do. Uh, what about Capellus? Here we go. Uh, 
Alright, so that'll be 18 uh, media defense installations. That should be overkill. And we need to set up a supply chain bringing media defense installation ammo here. Um, I've done that for for the sun around Nalvis. Uh, Calidus, but that was with our little tiny interplanetary... Well, not interplanetary, it's, it's in space only, but it's only within the solar system. Uh, our little baby ion shuttle that we made. This thing. Um, I'm gonna need to make a spaceship... Well, I don't need to, but I would prefer to make one just for resupplying these things. Tennessee Swagger, thank you for the follow. Welcome, welcome. Hope you're doing well. Um, the thing is, if it has to go interstellar, then it's gonna need to have nuclear power or a energy beam receiver, no matter what. And I don't think we can build... Well, I haven't tried yet um, to see how small of a build I could make like this, but interstellar. I suppose it would basically be half of what we did for the first space truck. We'll need one iron engine... Two condenser turbines. But if we don't care if it's slow... Well, how slow are we talking? We could go for just one condenser turbine if we don't care that it's... gonna go at, like, half speed. I, th I think half speed is gonna be fine. For the purpose of... just resupplying media defense installation ammo. On the other hand, I would kind of like to set it up so that we could do multiple ships with this anyway. Uh, set it up just like we did with Calidus and the Calidus asteroid belt, uh, where we've got one system of resupply dynamically resupplying to different stations. And we can still use multiple ships if we need more throughput. Just like adding trains to LTN, really. Okay, so I think... Uh, I think I do actually... Want to try building the smallest... Uh, let's just build plenty of floor here. And we'll remove what we don't need. We're either going to go for a nuclear reactor. We need a single ion engine. One condenser turbine. And either... Yeah, I think it's going to be a nuclear reactor. Um... Uranium... F nuclear fuel is practically going to be free, um, considering less and less stuff is running off of it, and we've already got enough. On the other hand, uh, the chest space, the uh, whole container stress... Uh, the container stress, rather, is... Um, to support the nuclear reactor is definitely not free. Let's see, pick a dollies this up this way. Heat exchanger, 
Oh, Piccadilly's that thing for some reason. And we need a pipe loop. Um, that could go there. I think one tank... Well, it probably won't add that much more container stress. Let's just make a box for now. So that we can at least see what our container stress looks like. Greetings. Uh, Solen, welcome, welcome. Hope you're doing well. Thank you for the follow. Uh, so what's our container stress looking like here? Only 49. How much does one storage tank cost? That would be... 36.5. 12.5. So 25k is 12.5. Uh, that's considerably less than a chest. I think we will make sure we've got plenty of room uh, for water storage. And this will have to go here. I feel like that looks slightly less bad. We will, of course, need some iron fuel in here. Uh, I think... This is going to stick out a couple of tiles anyway. Hmm. How do I want to squeeze this together? If I make it... If I push this off to one side a little bit, can we... Maybe... No, I think it's going to have to be a bit further up. Unless that goes like there, we need more pipe. Oh, that works. Yeah, that works nicely, actually. And we could have the water resupply like this. So this is going to be ion only. It won't have to take off from planets. We're looking to make the smallest possible interstellar ship. Should have designed this before, to be honest. Uh, if I move this over... I can't move this over a tile. I would have to move it over like three tiles. If if I don't want to move this up one tile. Yeah, so far I'm thinking something like this. we got integrity wise 402 is it including all of this
Let's see what that looks like. Oh, that's so much smaller. 170. That's quite good, actually. And we've got lots of container stress. Um, I think even a single chest full of media defense installation ammo will be more than enough for one trip. But we're going to need two chests um, unless we, like, use long arm inserters, which is not the worst idea. No, we're going to need two chests to support the nuclear reactor regardless. Uh, so how much does that put us up to? Oh, looking better than expected. Can we fit four chests and keep it under 170 hull stress? Let's see. 136? I think it's uh, 24 per chest. So that would put us up to 150. 160. Wait, what? Oh, I just miscalculated. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Okay. Uh, so... Assuming we don't use some of this storage space, that would give us three chests for media defense installation ammo. We can also use most of... Um, I guess they kind of have to be about here. Uh, we can use most of the chests that are supply uh, that are used for nuclear in and out for storage as well. Uh, streamline. Let's see how close we can get here. I don't think we can reduce the overall footprint any more than if we bring the console back a bit here. How's our streamline looking now? Oops, let's try again. 90%? That's pretty good. Uh, I would have to increase the whole stress in order to increase the streamline. I don't remember exactly how much extra speed we get from that. Streamlining. Uh, here we go. Improve your speed's maximum speed by around 30%. I think it'll already... It's already going to be bottlenecking on power anyway. I don't think we need to worry about that too much. Uh, so one laser turret. And... I'll put that on the right so that the accumulator can be on the left. The main point of the accumulator is so that we know how fast we can go safely. If the accumulator charge gets low, we, if the accumulator charge runs out, we can't keep shooting down asteroids. Um, Although, I think the laser turret is a higher priority than the ion engine anyway. So we probably don't really need to do this, but I would rather make sure. Okay. Um, it's longer than I expected. Well, longer than I had in mind. 
But in terms of hull stress, uh, which is what actually counts, this ship is smaller than expected. Um, so that's cool. I think I'm going to have to make a custom pick up and drop off location for it. Or I could add it in here. That would make a lot of sense. Because we've already got media defense installation and everything else being delivered to this block. And we only need the one. Yeah, that makes a ton of sense. Um... I'll have to use another signal receiver for this, just so that we've got one channel for... Well, if I really wanted to be stingy and... I, I could use the red wire to represent in-system and green wire to represent... Um... No, that wouldn't work. Yeah, we're, we're going to need another receiver up here. That's fine. All right, let's finalize our design. Um, we're going to be needing some uranium-235. Let's go for... Let's be excessive and say four stacks. And the rest of that we can use for bots and things. Um, how much are we looking at four chests of requested media defense? We can always change that, but like, uh, that's probably kind of overkill. I'm going to keep it supplied for a long time. How much can uranium fuel cells stack? Oh, 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 we need to... We need to power them. Oh, no. That's going to be a little bit of a waste of fuel. Not that it matters too much uh, these days. Um, But I do want to... Read hand contents pulse. This one's going to be... Used up uranium fuel cell greater than zero. Uh, and this one is going to read from the accumulator. I wonder if... With just one accumulator... What's our hull stress? 165.3... I could add another one. Or two. I'm pretty sure they're quite cheap in terms of hull stress. Let's see. Oh, they're literally free. Okay. Uh, let's get rid of that for now. I don't think that many accumulators is going to make that much of a difference. I guess it's going to be a little bit smoother in terms of adjusting the target speed. We'll put our storage chests here. Uh, not that many though. Put some doors here. Then again, maybe no doors. Because this will be a fully automated um, ship, and we're trying to squeeze it down to as little hull stress as possible. And also it's so small that if I did want to manually pick things up here with my character, I could reach these chests. 
Excuse me. That's ingenious. Uh, thank you. Sorry, I was a bit late replying to that. I'm not sure what thing you're referring to exactly. What are we at? 176.5. I don't remember how much that shaved off, but we don't need doors for this one, regardless. Um, okay, so... Oh, was it the inserter stuff? Yeah, someone else gave me that idea, actually. Um, this way we only put in a fuel cell when we take one out. The accumulator outputting the speed limit signal. Oh yeah, uh, when I first did that, um, I actually used a arithmetic combinator. But it was literally just... A times one output speed signal. Uh, and then I realized, oh yeah, that's right, you can change the type of signal output uh, from the whole meme accumulator, from any kind of accumulator for that matter. So that's our target speed. Uh, enabled condition will be... A, uh, we're reading it as speed signal, so... Speed signal... If it drops to less than 25%, whoops, then we're going to be allowed to remove uranium fuel cells. Uh, and when we remove uranium fuel cells, we can put in one uranium fuel cell. So we're only going to add fuel to build heat uh, as needed. And 160 out of 176. So one more chest would increase our hull stress. But I don't think that's that big of a deal. I think it's probably more worthwhile to have more ammo storage. These things aren't going to have to make the trip that often, and they're already going to be faster than our other ships. 208. I think I can live with that. Plus, this looks a little bit better. What's up with the UPS? Uh, what's up with the UPS is we've got a lot of stuff going on at this stage of the game. This is our orbital base. Uh, this is our old orbital base up here. And on Nalvis, we've got... I honestly don't even know how many big rail blocks we've got. Um, and a lot of them are built with old beacons, so we have a higher count of machines than we necessarily need. Um, I probably should... Well... I don't know. I built these back when we had 60 UPS or, or close to it, so uh, at the time it seemed to make sense to build the last block of yellow science that we would ever need. But at this point I would like to replace this. I, I, I don't think this is consuming a lot of UPS because it's just sitting idle most of the time. Um, but this, for example, I would like to replace with something um, that uses tier 2 beacons and far fewer... Whoops. Uh, far fewer machines. What did I just do here? By accident. I think I accidentally... Marked that for rotation. This base seems familiar. You post on the... Arendelle Discord sometimes? Uh, I don't think so. Arendelle. 
No, it doesn't, uh, doesn't ring a bell. Is this still jammed? No, it's not actually jammed. Or it wasn't. Okay. Fantastic. Uh, I think I need... I, I hate to say it, but I think I need to redesign the Omni Smelter block. Um, to some extent. I did make a change to it whereby I set filters on the storage chests down near the stations. Uh, so that we would get much shorter trips for the bots to put the copper plate, for example, uh, into these dynamic requester chests. So the loading will not take anywhere near as long as it might otherwise. Um, but it still might be the case that we're bottlenecking, well, if it ever was the case, uh, we might be bottlenecking on actually loading the trains. Given that we've got like 102,000 copper plate here, for example, but I looked at here is a good example, actually. We're only requesting two trains, that probably doesn't help. Um, low density structures managed to run out of copper plate, even though we've got quite a lot of it. I th think I probably just needed to have a higher... Oh, this is set as a high priority as well. That might be part of the reason, but I don't think we're actually out of copper. Um... Yeah. Emdell's the guy who's making space exploration? Oh, okay. Yeah, I haven't been posting there. Uh, someone must be using a similar city block system and posted pictures there. Uh, I have posted blueprints. And a couple of people have said they've been using these blocks and they like them. So, uh, that could be, that could be it. If anyone wants to take some of what I've done and use it, by all means. I'm very pleased uh, with this city block design. Um, I have thought about some ways I might change it in the future, but I don't want to bother with that, like, this playthrough. I'm pretty sure I can get rid of the crisscross here. Um... By allowing trains to go both ways on the straight rail, but they're only allowed to stop if it's left-hand drive. Um, theoretically, well, no, I could be wrong there. Let's see, if they're allowed to go either direction on the straight rail... No, we would still need these crisscrosses so they can change which lane they're in, but I th I'm pretty sure we can make that part smaller. Yeah. Yeah, definitely. We can, we can bring those crisscrosses back to here, which means this part that just barely fits a long train, we could make that smaller. And we could make these blocks a bit smaller, if we want to. I think it is done that way, so you have more space on the inside. Because there are no signals there. Uh, more space on the inside, because there's no signals there. I think we could probably signal this if we did that. Anyway, uh, I'll, I'll experiment with doing this a little bit differently in the next playthrough, I think.
Um, did we actually finish this? Fantastic. Let's put in some flat solars. Some regular pylon substations. And that should get itself sorted out. This one as well. Okay, where were we? I think I was designing this ship. Uh, so we definitely want... Yeah, I think I will settle for 208 container stress. Um, that seems like a good compromise between lots and lots of ammo. Um, but also keeping it a relatively small ship. Let's also fill this container with ammo for the most part. Um, so if we're using four stacks of fuel... We've got 44 left for ammo. Um, that is 880 media defense installation ammo. And this one... I don't think... I don't think there's a universe where... We're picking up used up uranium fuel cells with this, but just in case. Um, and we'll use like half a chest for media defense installation ammo here as well. Uh, it might take a little while to get that filled up, since I didn't request enough ammo here to fill several chests. We're only looking for 200. Oh yeah, that's, uh, that's gonna take a little while. Um, I might just leave that to it, though. Do we need any circuit logic other than the... Oh, we need clamps. Um, I need to... Oh, no. I need to move this whole thing over a tile. Um, I could be really stingy and use picket dollies to move the reactor. Actually, I am going to do that. Um, let's make a blueprint of this. Chuck it in game blueprints for the moment. Remove all of this stuff. Actually, I'll keep that. That's holding onto heat. Okay, so we're going to go one tile to the left. This is all just because of the grid snapping of uh, the spaceship clamps. And this goes here. We hold on to our fuel, we hold on to the heat, and put that back down there. And now we can put our clamps somewhere like this. Oh, one thing I didn't anticipate is we're going to need one more tile sticking out at the back here to resupply the um, ion. That's unfortunate. I'm thinking about here, perhaps. Or our clamps. 
It would have been a lot easier if I'd moved this upper tile um, to put in... Oh, we can do it this uh, down here, actually. So we'll have to resupply... Ion from the left. I can definitely live with that more than I can live with having to have a bit of spaceship sticking out at the back here. Okay. Uh, is this all going to fit? where we want it to. Yeah, quite easily, actually. I'll remove some scaffolding here, because that's going to happen anyway. If we land a ship here, it's just going to delete the scaffolding that already exists. Um... Just do a little integrity check. 208. We need to supply it with water as well. Water, ion, and uranium fuel cells. So we need to request some uranium fuel cells here as well. Uh, we need to add that to our whitelist. And we need to supply, let's say, 10 stacks. More than enough to completely fill a couple of these uh, before the train comes to bring in some more. Uh, except this goes down here, actually. This part's just a... well... I don't want this overfilling. Nah, it'll be fine. This is just a white list of stuff that we're not going to shove into the trash train like is happening with the scaffolding right now. Uh, but as for the, the actual amount of uranium fuel cells we're going to request here, uh, 10 stacks or so should be fine. We need to get our construction spiders over here. And... I kinda, sorta, need to get a bit of ion in here so that we can move it. Um, let's have a look at what we did here. The only circuitry we need other than wires is a single constant combinator. Uh, I think we'll go negative six for this one, for the clamp IDs. And I'll start with this. going to be the same except for this part. Okay. We could add another laser turret, but um, it's definitely just going to be bottlenecked on power regardless. We're not going to go fast enough that Oh no, we need to shoot down the meteors that much quicker. Even the 24 kilowatts of passive power consumption from the laser turret counts for something. Not a whole lot though, considering min consumption of the ion engine is 333. So we're at 334, 338, 
minus, and, and then the power that actually gets consumed by firing the laser. Uh, and then every every bit of surplus power after that goes to actually pushing the ship. Okay. We need some water. Well, we've got accumulator charge. We can definitely move this thing around a little bit first. Um, let's get you... I wonder if this is enough ion just to take off and reposition. Launch energy. Uh, not even close, but it, it does register. Oh, I know what I can do. This is 400. I won't be overly shocked if this is enough. I think it'll go to about here, maybe. No. Okay. How about this? I just have to do this a few times. Pick a dollies, what a mod. Alright, how much launch energy do we have here? More than enough. Let's do one more. Just for... just for luck. And now we've got more than enough to move this thing. Uh, I'll have to get water delivered here. That's one thing I didn't think of. But we've got room to add that up here, no problem. Alright, uh, let's go with into, what did I call, what did I call this thing? Oh, I remember. Quartermaster it is. Alright, so this is going to be the interstellar quartermaster. Uh, and I forgot I want it to deliver some bots and stuff as well, just in case. Uh, this chest here is actually a good one to copy. Let's make this one um, provide bots and stuff. Okay. Uh, the only thing that I would potentially like to improve about this is if we could squeeze in a roboport. Um, and fix it so that we could insert the bots into that. However, A, we don't have the space... B, that's another 50 kilowatts. It's not a whole lot, but 50 kilowatts of power consumption means we slow down a bit more. I think I'll just rely on the roboports at the destination, like we've done previously. Um, and then... I think we're just about ready. Let's launch this thing. Interstellar Quartermark. What? No. Oh no, I forgot to put in power poles. Oh no, I did it again. Well, on the plus side, we've got a very natural location for a pylon substation still remaining here. On the minus side, um, we sort of, kind of, need to mount a rescue mission. I'm pretty sure. Actually, I may have had this problem before. 
Interstellar Quartermaster. Um, will it let me anchor? It actually seems like it will. Okay, let's line these two up the same way. And I'll put that one here. Fantastic. Actually, I think that kind of looks better. No. Well, I want to get rid of that anyway. Fantastic. Alright, so it's got power, it's got fuel, uh, it's going to need some water. And for that we need to control how much we put in. So we're going to read from one of these storage tanks. And we're going to limit the water to... 24,500. Um, maybe this would work a little bit better. Can we get a 3B perhaps? There we go. And wait. Alright, so this when this storage tank is almost full, we're going to stop pumping water in. That way there will be room for the condenser turbine to output water, so the whole system won't stop. Um, we do not whitelist the used up uranium fuel cells, so those will come back into this requester chest. We do need to supply Ion Stream, um, specifically to here. Now what would be the best way to do that? I think like this, to be honest. That goes here. Let's get a Niner. Eleven tiles. I don't think we can do a whole lot better than this. With our five set three five seven nine fifteen connectors. Okay, so that's going to be our ion string. Where are you going with that? Fair enough. Uh, and we need to request some water here as well. Quest threshold, 100k, water, that 
that's not going to need to be delivered very often. And here it comes. Oh. And building the drop-off station for these uh, is basically going to be a copy-paste with minimal changes. Oh. Yeah, no, that's actually going to be fine. If we're using a long arm to take the... Take the robots. We can actually just copy-paste this. Cool. We need to actually set up the receiving station for this thing. Um, so, speaking of which... Was it Capellus that we're working on? Yeah, it is. I'll probably... How far does this reach? Relatively. Do we have a button motion now? Yeah, that was my mistake earlier. Let's get some inserters, resupplying these. We're going to need some power poles. Do we have any more scaffolding? Uh, 6.5k. And this requires four. Okay, so we can do one more of these. Are we going to need one more of these? Uh, not yet. How's our power looking? What the... Oh, this is a separate power network? Okay, what about this? We're actually at peak. We are bottlenecking. Okay, the way I've set this up, the belts would bottleneck if we added any more core fragments. But... I'm not seeing all of these active. Do we have enough heat? We don't. I mean, we do have enough heat, but... Um... This design actually bottlenecks uh, the heat pipe. Bottlenecks it. No, wait. I thought I thought adding these extra pipes like so fixed that. Was I wrong? Apparently. One point five, one point six gigawatts. Yeah. So 1.5 is about what we can actually expect. Uh, I don't know how urgently we need to improve that. Let's assume we're going to. Like, relatively soon. How much power do we have here? Seven? Yeah, no. Let, let's put down as much solar as we can. And then, what are we doing at our outpost out here? Looks like this part's done. We've got 12.3 gigawatts. Um, we are wanting, let's say 2.4 to aim at Morpheus. Uh, I guess. If I make, if I use five of these things, um, five injectors, one, two, I wish I could put this in the middle, three, four, I can't actually do five, 
I was hoping to... I was hoping to have a couple of energy beam emitters um, pointing at two separate uh, reactors like this. With five megawatts of input. But we can't quite pull that off without another beam chamber. That's unfortunate. Well, it's only like a hundred kilowatts of wasted power having to have another one of these. Um, I'm more concerned about the space and scaffolding that that implies. Uh, but still. So let's go with something like... There's still no middle. This is going to be disastrously asymmetrical no matter what. Well, let's just put this as close to the middle as we can. That is so much more space, but just a little bit more unfortunate. It's not like I can connect this here. I wouldn't want to anyway. Okay. Uh, so that's going to feed a couple of reactors. We're also going to want one feeding the new spaceships when they come in. Uh, so that's at least two per planet. Uh, how much power do we have? We've used up more than half of it. It's not what I wanted to hear. Let's put in some inserters here. Substation pylon. That's a good fit. And I think I'm going to take a short break at this point. Let's go to LTN screensaver. And I'll be back in a few minutes.
Okay. Let's continue, shall we? Uh, wait, what? Uh, there we go. Okay, so let's get our media defense installation ammo in place. And how's our power? Totally fine. I might end up having to do another trip since we're relatively low on scaffolding. Um, we've got 2.6k and one of these uses 4k. So I can't finish another block of these. We're currently at 12 gigawatts. 7.3. We need 5, 6, 7 to make another one of these. Or maybe it would make more sense to go for... I can only connect these on the end, right? Uh, must be connected to an energy beam emitter. Other chambers can be connected to the end or middle of either side. Oh, this is a chamber. Um, energy beam injectors can be connected from the sides only. Uh, so I think the emitters actually can be connected pretty much wherever we want. Which means we can have more than two of these on one big block. Which means we can go for something a bit more efficient. Um, let's see. Is this gaining any power? Or oh, does it have to line up? Yeah, yeah, it probably has to go here, doesn't it? Emitter strength, zero. I don't think it's working. I think it has to be on the end, even if they haven't made it that clear. Hmm. What if... What's our target? We want at least one for Morpheus for power. One for Morpheus for... Energizing the ships. So that's two. Uh, at least one on the surface, uh, two on the surface for Sanj. Uh, and at least two in Sanj orbit, so that would be six. Six energy beam transmitters, you say. And I want to preferably pour all of the injectors into one central set of chambers and then output them uh, to the emitters. Probably... Can these connect this way? Oh, they can. Okay. That makes it actually a lot easier than I expected. Than I necessarily expected, let's say. Uh, I might want to move this a little bit. So we want at least six. What if we just do it like this? Um, 
Oh yeah, I think... Well, I don't think that's going to leave much room for injectors. In fact, it's only going to leave room for some injectors on the very outside. I think we're going to need more than 4 gigawatts total for all of this. Um, that's just a hunch I have. So I think our pattern is going to be... I like this a little bit better. I think our pattern is going to look something like this. And that leaves a little bit of a gap, but whatever. So we can fit uh, 3 gigawatts of... That's actually kind of perfect. Uh, we can... F with this pattern, we can fit 3 gigawatts... I if it repeats indefinitely, 3 gigawatts of power input per emitter. Uh, plus four, and then minus six. So three per emitter, minus two. That's actually pretty good. That's actually really good. I might make a blueprint of that. Are these all default settings? Yeah. Um, let's go with snap to grid. Relative. Uh, height is going to be from here to here. So probably like 20. Offset is... That much. And the width, I don't. Well, this is fine for the width. That's actually really good. Obviously, we're, we're paying another one, two. We're, we're, we're paying a little bit more power, 100 kilowatts for each um, energy beam chamber. But by bringing all of these together, Um, we're actually able to save a lot more energy that way. Uh, so, what should I call this? If I'm going to make this blueprint properly tileable, uh, I need to have... One more of these sticking out. Right about here. Let's get rid of these. Okay. Snap to grid relative. I think the height was 20. Offset 5. And that pretty much does it. Tileable. Uh, beam emitters. And it was... Three times... I was going to say 3 times n, but we'll call it 3 times energy beam emitter. I don't think that's as readable as I imagined it was going to be. 3 times energy beam emitter chambers. Not chambers, injectors. Three injectors minus two. 
at th three times a meter. No, I was gonna. Uh, I wanted to name this in a way that like describes the mathematical function that we're getting. Uh, three, in, three times emitter minus two for injectors. I'm just going to write it in the description. Three times, three times in uh, room for three times emitter minus two injectors. That's a bit cleaner. And then we should be able to tile that like so. Fantastic. That's going into the space exploration blueprints somewhere. It's getting to be a bit of a mess. I should definitely organize that. Uh, we do need... Let, let's put some scaffolding over here. And I don't want to waste even a little bit of it since we're a bit low. How big is that blueprint? Uh, that's actually pretty good. Let's make sure I leave room for the injectors down the bottom. One tile off. Uh, how many injectors did I... Sorry, emitters did I bring? Five? Six. Let's build six while we're here, why not? So we're gonna need a little bit more scaffolding. Oh. Uh, the spaceship is kind of in the way. I could use a little bit of ion fuel just to move it, uh, but I may as well just bring this down here instead. Okay. Bring that down here. Is there one tile missing up here to fit that? What are the bots doing? Oh, they are queuing. Okay. Let's add some pylon substation over here. I feel like putting it where it doesn't look like the wires would be burnt to a crisp. I guess I'll manually grab that little bit of scaffolding. I think there was literally one scaffolding over here. Let's do that. No! How dare you! Okay. That was indeed one tile that we needed here. And... 
let's check again. This gives us 16 gigawatts of power into six emitters. Um, if it was all going to... Uh, power plants. We need 2.4 gigawatts per plant. Um, how many was it again? 16. 2.67, that's actually perfect. I mean, there's just a little bit of excess energy if all of this was aimed at power plants. Uh, so, come to think of it, do we get better power out of, if we build in Morpheus orbit, solar is 133%, not that much. Um... I think I remember checking this, but I was curious as to... I think I already came up with the answer and decided it's better to just build solar panels. If we're in orbit, uh, it's better than beaming power. Even if it's just because it's easier. 1.4 megawatts, uh, plus 243%. Okay. Solar says 172%? What? Wait, what? Solar, 172%. Plus 243%. That's... not... Solar, 466%. Plus 832%. I'm not sure I follow. 832. Uh, is, is, is that just a lie? 800 kilowatts. This is 100%. Okay. So why, if this says 466%, do we actually get 932%? Um, and how much... How much of the power that I'm beaming to Nalvis Orbit... Um, do we lose in transit? I believe it's this one? Transmission efficiency, 62.6%. No atmosphere? I would have thought it would take that into account when it tells me that Nalvis Orbit gets 466% solar. But I suppose not. Well, anyway, it only reinforces the idea that there's no need to build receivers in orbit, just build solar panels. Uh, so... We hardly need any... power when it comes to... Uh, recharging the ships. So I think... Oh, that actually fits. I think something like this will be way more than enough. Uh, if we run out of these. This is enough for... Let's call this two power plants and one ship charger for each of our two planets. Even though it's more than enough. 
uh, power. Okay, we need to double our solar here. However, we do still have 1.2k solar. And this is only 1k. Um, there's a bit of scaffolding here we can use, but I don't think that's going to help. Uh, can we squeeze... We definitely can't. Um, squeeze enough solar power in. We need another 10 gigawatts. Uh, but I would like to take advantage of what we can fit here as much as possible. bit of scaffolding there. And here perhaps? Whoa, hold on. If I could, doesn't make that much of a difference. A little bit more scaffolding here, I suppose. not even getting close to using up all of these solar panels, are we? Still got 1.1k left. I think we're just going to remove some of these injectors until we come back. Uh, also, I want to use some of the remaining scaffolding to make a drop-off station. defense installation ammo. Uh, why don't we just put what scaffolding we may need here. start copying from what we already have at Calidus Orbit. Uh, this in particular. Let's get back in the ship for now. Turn that off. Turn, turn that off. I hope I didn't just launch a ship. No, I, I think we're good. Uh, so, I think... We'll be putting a similar... 
I need to get this wire up here. Uh, let's just connect it to... That reaches a surprisingly long way. Um, connect it this way. We need to know how much water we've got. That's fine. We don't need to know how much ion we've got. We just pump it in all the time. And media defense installation ammo greater than 80. Greater than 80. How did I set this up the first time? If media defense installation ammo less than 500, I put everything input count on the red wire. Oh, I know what that 80 was. It was the arbitrary amount of ammo that we have to have before we bother taking off. Pass through everything from the signal receiver. Yeah, the green wire is measuring ammo. I think that is still a good idea. Um... I might just check this chest first, since I think the bots will put it in there. No, I think they'll balance it, won't they? Alright, we'll read contents of all of these chests. And... If media defense installation ammo is greater than 80, output everything to the console. We're going to be needing a signal receiver. I feel like that looks slightly better. Uh, we don't actually have it here, do we? What? Oh, I thought, I thought one of the bots was carrying ion stream somehow, which would have been weird. Uh, can we maybe make room? Are you still requesting a receiver? You are. Okay. Back to the mall for a second with you. And then back over here. And we're going to call this one... Uh, this is really wordy. Oh well. We don't need to look at it very often. Interstellar Media Defense Installation Ammo Resupply. This thing is already good to go. Um, I might just get the... No, let me get three of those used up uranium fuel cells out of the picture. One. Two. I could have done this in one go if I just didn't change the stack size. And three. Alright, so there's one left in there which we need to trigger this thing once the accumulator charge drops low enough. Uh, six tanks of ion should be way more than enough to get where we're going. And back. Interstellar quarter mass. Okay, I need... I would prefer to... I, I was going to send this manually, but I would prefer to set it up uh, so that the circuit network signal gets it to take off. Um, and we probably should wait for more than 80. Uh, let's go for a full chest. 
before we bother sending this thing on an interstellar voyage. In fact, maybe I should wait until it's quite full. Uh, how much have we got here? 5.6 thousand. Uh, sure, why not? I feel like it would be handy to have one faster construction spider to fetch random things like this. That's actually a really good idea. I think I'll do that when I get back. Unfortunately, I do need to physically be there to put in power armor stuff. I will only be able to give it... Well, I could give it five exoskeletons if I run it off as solar power. Um, come to think of it. No, on Nalvis I've got a speedy spider sitting around, but not in Nalvis orbit. Uh, also, the speedy spider that I do have on Nalvis doesn't have a roboport installed, unfortunately. But something like this, but with a roboport and requests for things that we rarely build, um, that's actually a great idea. Uh, Black Ops? And Doga, good to see you again. Oh, welcome, welcome. Hope you're doing well. Alright, so... We've got our Robo Network. Uh, I don't know where we got... 50... There we go. I want to make sure we leave 50 logistic bots here. Or at least one in here, so that it will... When the ship comes, it'll sort itself out. Um, back to... Calidus. Apart from necessarily having the spaceship clamp over here, uh, this is what we're going to be wanting. Let me put some scaffolding over here for now. Figure out where our ship is going to fit. Uh, I did make a blueprint of it, didn't I? Oh, it's in game blueprints. This thing's incomplete. Um, I think I'll delete that for now. Oh, I could have added new contents instead. Select new contents. Let's go with tiles. No scaffold. And I need to move the long-handed inserter up one. Do we need this roboport to be here in particular? I don't think so. So you're going to go about here. And this needs to go five tiles up and two to the right. So that's going to be able to take from the chest that has the logistic bots. Oh, it's got a lot of stuff besides logistic bots. But it's, in, it's directly inserting into a robopod, so that shouldn't be a problem. As long as it puts one logistic bot in, that's all we're looking for. 
Um, how did I wire this up? Oh, that's the wrong sun. That makes sense. Okay. So we're going to put this here. We're going to connect to the inserter. That looks kind of weird. This thing is set to logistic bot equals zero in the robot network. Its only purpose is to get this started if we somehow ran out of logistic bots. Um, that requests bots, controls input. This thing stores um, repair packs. Despite the weird tendency for the repair packs to be shoved out of RoboPort. Uh, and we need to take it from a buffer chest into another buffer chest. Because of the spaceship design. Okay, so that's going to go here. That's looking good. Uh, we're not going to be resupplying any of the fluids or anything. This needs to be, I think it was negative six. Let's just double check. Fantastic. Uh, so this one is going to anchor using spaceship left clamp. And anchor to target right. And that should be it. Uh, planet orbit. Oh yeah, this is what we need to do here. We read from... Hold on a sec. That is something that I may not have thought of last time. So we're sending it... Oh, I think I did, actually. Okay, so there's um, less than three chests of media defense installation ammo here. We've got four chests of requesters. We request when media defense installation ammo drops below 500. No, I actually did overlook this. Because the trigger for the ship to take off and go back for more is if defense installation ammo is actually equal to zero. The other way I could do it is read from these and say... Um, if, if these chests are full, that's another reason to take off. That seems like a pretty good way to go about it. Unfortunately, I can't really fix that remotely here. But it shouldn't be a problem. To fix once we get a ship there. Uh, okay, so in that case, in that case,
why don't I read contents from these? So this one is going to be reading from the spaceship. If the spaceship has no more media defense installation ammo, we can take off. And this one is going to be reading from these chests. If we have 20 is a stack, 48 is a chest, times 1, 2, 3, 4. Um, if we have 3,840... in these chests, the ship can take off as well. Okay. Um, and that is... We're going to pass through everything... Mostly, most importantly, the stuff from this constant combinator. Take off and go back to Nalvis Orbit. And that goes on the red wire. That should work. If media defense installation ammo is less than 500... Since we're going interstellar here, I think we can go a bit lower. Uh, how many chests does our new ship bring of media defense installation ammo? One, two, three, four... Closer to six. And I think we do want to minimize the trips. So why don't we actually make this eight chests of storage? Um, and that means we're going to be doubling 3840, 7680, that's actually 768, that's a familiar number. So is 384 now that I think about it. 7680. Alright, so if we're totally full, the ship can take off. If our ammo drops low enough. Let's say if our ammo drops to two chests. So 19, let's say 1900. Uh, Moonbeam? Moonbeam? Uh, thank you for the follow. Welcome, welcome. Hope you're doing well. If media defense installation ammo drops below 1900, uh, spaceship launch, uh, and we, what, what, oh, right, and we also need the destination. You lack power on your space station? Do you mean the ship here? Yeah, that's, um... Interesting. Oh, I see what's happened. We're not outputting the used up uranium fuel cells. Uh, because I, I was removing chests so that the... Um, so that the... Uh, this was the ship I was riding in. I removed those chests and picked these up manually so that um, container stress would be lower and the ship would go faster. Um, it's not a problem. We can just... Put this solar panel here, actually. And this can go here. That should start charging. Oh, right. I forgot I have way too many 
injectors for the power we've got for now. Uh, I think we need to remove these as well. There we go. Okay. Uh, so we need to patch the drop-off at the Sun and at the Calidus asteroid belt as well. Um, where is the drop-off? It's way down here. So for both of these, I kind of need a wire to run along a substation. I'll do that on the way back home. Meanwhile, this is interstellar media defense installation ammo resupply. Fantastic. What? Really? Why do you have junk data cards? Okay, that's a little frustrating. Uh, if I pick this up, is it going to get placed over here? I mean, yeah, it should. And then I'll replace this one later. Uh, so this is going to be the interstellar ammo resupply. And I think it was the red wire this needs to be on. And that should get the ship to take off. Oh, wait. Wait, 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 where are you going? I forgot to... I think it has no destination, actually. Um, Interstellar Quartermaster. Destination. Nalvis. Nalvis? No, we're ready to anchor to Nalvis orbit, actually. Um, I think we'll do that. Why isn't it automatically anchoring? Are we not sending this signal? Oh, um... Now this orbit. Before I select that, let me just check what's being transmitted on this. It's just the takeoff signal, that's what I thought. Because I removed this. So where are we? Angulus. Automation signal is star 63. So, under certain con conditions, which is we're low, low on ammo, um, we're going to send these signals. Also, I need to actually read the amount of ammo we've got. That would be a good idea. Okay, so back to the ship. Uh, once I send it to Nalvis Orbit, it should land at our station, and then immediately take off to come and join us. Cool. And is that... yes it is. Interstellar Quartermaster is headed to Angulus Orbit. Fantastic. This game requires some debugging skills, indeed. Ooh. Uh... I'm pretty sure one laser turret is enough. But let's keep an eye on it for a few, for a minute.
Yeah, those were the those were the chunkiest space rocks that we run into, so I'm pretty sure it'll be okay. What if we run into two of these at once? I'm actually a little worried. Maybe I should just set an arbitrary low speed limit for these. Hmm. Well, if it gets stranded, we'll rescue it and make a version with two laser turrets. Uh, for now, we do have a supply of media defense installation ammo. We've got uh, 10 gigawatts dedicated to... Wait, really? 10 gigawatts? I see 1, 2, 3, 4. Oh yeah, these all require a gigawatt, even if they're just sitting there. Um... Well, I should probably add some more solar panels. That'll make too much difference. I really should have made sure I had enough scaffolding. Uh, that this thing was full of scaffolding before I came. Uh, Sarah Alfie? Welcome, welcome. Hope you're doing well. I guess I could take advantage of this at the very least. That seems like a good idea. Um, I'll probably just drop those solar panels myself. Let's see where we can fit some. Not sure where gives us the maximum. Maybe here. I think we needed like two more of these blocks to supply everything that I wanted in the meantime. And we do have enough solar panels for that, just not enough scaffolding. So this might actually put it over the edge. What? Oh, it's trying to place... Oh. <laughs> it's trying to place all of these... Um... Scaffolding tiles. Well, I think it's easier to just let it finish. Although, thought energy might become an issue. Let's divert our attention somewhere else for now. How fast is our ship? And is it broken? It's looking good so far. It's only been in minimum density asteroids. Uh, speed doesn't have a solar panel, so that doesn't factor into it. Speed is settled into a regime of about 19 on average, which looks totally safe. Um, so I think it's going to be okay. If there's any danger, it is probably when it first takes off. So maybe I should just set its target speed at uh, like 19. 
instead of automating that. Oh, except that's how we're managing the fuel as well. Do I want to change that? Yeah, I'll just change this back to A. So, if accumulator charge drops below 25%, Target speed is... Oh, nope, nope, nope. Slow down, slow down, slow down. I think... Hmm. No, I'll, I'll make it go even slower if it's going through a dense area. Until I... It, it, it should gain accumulator charge with a target of 19 if it's going through regular density um, but it'll if it's if its target is 19 going through I don't know if it's going this slowly through a dense asteroid field and it, it prioritizes the laser it should be able to shoot everything down we'll see Okay, so those are our targets, for now at least. We'll read accumulator charge as A, and when A drops below 25%, we'll try to put more nuclear fuel in. Currently we're running hot, and accumulator charge is still low. Maybe... Maybe 19 is too high. Hmm. Maybe I should set the target based on accumulator charge. The only thing I'm afraid of if I continue to do that is if it manages to go fast enough right from the start um, that it actually runs into an asteroid, but like two thick asteroids, that it can't shoot down fast enough. Hmm. What's our ETA? Two hours. Ouch. I mean, that should be plenty. Considering how much media defense installation ammo we're transporting. But even so. Oh, I know. Uh, yeah, no, that's perfect. Okay, we're going to change this back to speed signal. And that should get rid of... That's still circuit controlled. Okay, cool. Um... And we're going to change this to speed signal less than 25. That'll be reading on the green wire, which doesn't touch the constant combinator. We're going to set a signal of negative uh, 80. For our speed signal here. So that's going to drop our target speed all the way down until the accumulator charge reaches 80% and then it's, start going to, it's going to start creeping back up. So the accumulator actually has to be below 25% um, before this thing will 
take out a fuel cell and therefore this one will put in a fuel cell. What's our speed now? Literally zero. Okay, but the accumulator is charging. Once it hits about 80%, we'll start moving forward. Um, if it reaches 100%, our target speed will be 20. So our target speed will never be greater than 20. And we won't put fuel in until the accumulator is actually getting low. We'll maintain it at a level that's higher than getting low enough to put more nuclear fuel in. Cool, I like that. Uh, let's update our blueprint, including the floor tiles, fantastic. Um, let's go with... Interstellar Media Defense Installation Ammo Resupply. I probably should use that acronym. It, it, it really is a mouthful. And we don't need the snap to grid. It'll snap to grid anyway because there's um because there's clamps included. Cool, let's chuck that in our spaceships. And we're moving, as predicted. And as the accumulator charge increases, so too does our target speed until we reach equilibrium, which should be at like 99% uh, accumulator charge. A repetitive beats. Good to see you again. A oh, welcome, welcome. Hope you're doing well. Morning. Morning to you. Just got a drink here. It's working. So apparently this thing is theoretically capable of going 62. Um, obviously it doesn't have the power to support that. Uh, and that's even if we didn't have to shoot down asteroids. So call it maybe 30 theoretical top speed. But we would smash into asteroids if we did that. Seems like the perfect time to make dinner, then. Indeed. Revan, good to see you again. A welcome, welcome. Hope you're doing well. And the accumulator charge is never quite reaching 100%. Uh, which, to me, says... We're not wasting any energy. This is actually perfect. I guess I could set the constant here to, like, uh, negative, would it be negative 90 or negative 70? It'd be going extra slow. At 100%, our top, our target speed is 20. Yeah, so negative 70... At 100%, our target speed would be 30. I think... Negative 75. So that'll bump our target speed up a bit. 
um, just for the moment. And when we take off, we're not going to have, uh, when, when we take off with full accumulator charge, we're not going to go fast enough for the asteroids to be a threat. Cool. So we should see the accumulator gradually drain to like 95%. Um, that'll be the new equilibrium it hangs around at. And yeah, it is still a more than two hour journey for this thing. Um, but again, well, that's for more than four hours both ways. Um, but it is delivering many, 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 many days worth of media defense installation ammo. So that should be fine. I think probably just one of these ships will be enough. Um to keep us in, uh, to keep all of our outposts, um, armed against meteors, but we can just add more ships, uh, if it's absolutely necessary. It's probably more scaffolding than I need. Let's put... Where was it? Oh, here it is. Let's put these back in here for now. Grab some solar panels. Yeah, quite happy with that design. Oh, they're still trying to place the scaffolding. Lamel. It's not quite going to take long enough for me to bother carefully placing a deconstruction planner. Let's park ourselves here and again put our attention somewhere else. Uh, what else should we be working on or fixing? I could make... Well, I sort of already did. Um, did I blueprint this thing already? Spaceships... No, I don't think so. Um, I kind of want this one to be our next outposter. Oh, I need to charge it. I think I'll stop using this thing. This was a prototype. So let's just take our existing energizer for the spaceships and put this here for now. It's gaining heat quite quickly. Um, yeah, quicker than I, I expected, actually. Um, I need to copy all of the things that the outposter requests. Let's go to this one. Oh, this one's all broken up as well. Okay. There's so many different things. Um, why don't I start with this? That's going to actually 
send stuff over there, isn't it? It's fine. No, it's pretty high volume, actually. Let's not. I'll put these... I just want to put them somewhere to save the save their settings. So I put these here. I can't even see what goes in them though. No, I'll put them right next to the storage chests. That'll give the bots um, not so much space that they have to cover. And I'll be able to see what goes in all of those chests. Um, robots, robots, and this stuff. And there's probably some stuff I'm missing here. I guess we should have it carry some uranium fuel cell uh, so that it can... Uh, what's the word I'm looking for? Rescue some of our ships if necessary. This is being a bit lazy, but it's going to save us a lot of time for now. Okay, I'll put this here. And this here. And then, what have we got? Eight. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. Scaffolding. How about... Did I use these ones? No. Here. Probably some more scaffolding, actually. Oh, did I make the blueprint? I should have done that before I set the requests. Whoops. Um, did I save that over here, perhaps? I did not. Let's make a blueprint of it now. And... I would love to clear all those requests with the press of a button, but what can you do? Uh, space truck part two. Seems good. Put that in here. And I'll probably make a blueprint. Should I put it in the blueprint book for the existing space trucks? No, I think I'll make another blueprint book for that. Alright, our bots have calmed down. Let's put this here. And go pick up some more flat solar panels. Oh no. Oh no. Oh my god. I didn't think it would do that. Okay. Alright. Um. At least now we've got the ghosts for the... It would have been so much easier to just do it like this. Since you asked, you can export that 
string blueprint to a tool to convert it to JSON. You can then edit it and clear all the requests, export it back to a string and re-import it to the game. It's quicker to do it manually. Yeah. If I just place the blueprint somewhere and then like shift right click, shift left click on the chests, it'll be a bit quicker. Although to scale that up, obviously, at some point it's easier to do it uh, by messing with the code. Let's grab some more solar panels. And I shouldn't have carried quite so much scaffolding, I guess. I'll put it here, except for like one stack or two for the moment. Give to me more solar panels, please. And away we go. Fantastic. Let's put another station here. How much scaffolding do we actually have left? Uh, 1.2k. It's about a quarter of one of these blocks. Yeah, I think I'll just add solar panels like so for the rest of this. scaffolding where we can easily fit one more solar panel. Alright, so let's connect these up and see how much power we have. And I think for now it'll be more than enough. We should just move on to actually using it. Uh, so we've got seven gigawatts to spare currently. In that case, I will definitely be adding those here. So that will give us 11 gigawatts of power that we can beam around. Uh, that is almost three fully working reactors. Um, in practice we won't be using them just yet. And I think... I think we're ready to head down to Morpheus. We've got our power. Cutting it a bit close. Uh, wait, are we getting power from... These are 10 megawatts each, but they're not active right now. Yeah, no, I th think... That's fine. At least I hope so. Why don't we add like two more solar panels to make sure? Uh, can I? No. Well, we can always make room for these later. Oh, we can also fit a couple of these here. 
25 pounds of pants. Thank you for the follow. Welcome, welcome. Hope you're doing well. Alright, so that definitely gives us a bit of uh, breathing room. Let's head to Morpheus. Whoops. The planet, not the ships that go to it. And I'll just be absolutely sure that that's where we're heading for now. Fantastic. Uh, we do need to... pick these up in order to make the reactor do its thing. Actually, why don't we just crawl to Morpheus on solar power? It's a very short trip. Well, eight minutes. It's not that short. We'll 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 use a little a little uranium. Why not? Um okay. So I think what I will be doing here. No, I, I won't bother putting I won't bother tacking a receiver onto this thing. Um I'll just build a new reactor to start with. Uh, so let's build one nice and close to our pyramid. And I'll put it close enough to the land that spiders could walk across. Pick up the fishies. How much landfill do we have? 4.2k... What? Oh no, this requires 9,000. Um, do we have some on Morpheus? Well, we should. I don't know how much. 1.5k right now, that probably includes... It's mostly what's in this spaceship. Okay. Uh, why don't we... Throw some requester chests down. So that we take... And, and, and I'm sure this is super overkill, but... Make sure we take all of the landfill from the ships. As soon as this one takes off... Uh, which is going to take a little while. I might even... Hmm. I might have to consider... No, uh, this is what I'll do. Um, we'll cancel that one. And we'll build the quarter version of this to start with. It only needs 2.4k. I'll make absolutely sure... That we're going to be able to fit the big version. And... So 2.4k landfill. We've already got 4.2 here. And we've got like 1.5k on Morpheus already. So there's no need to... Um, force that ship to leave already so that the... Well, I could have docked with the one in orbit to steal the landfill that it's carrying, actually, before I land on Morpheus. That's another way to go about it. Alright, I am going to take a short break. Be back in just a few minutes. And for now, I'll leave you with a spaceship in motion back shortly.
have a blueprint book of about 60 blueprints. I used it to search and replace all of the flat white SE surfaces and replace it with standard scaffold. Nice. That'll be a little bit of a time saver to say the least. Why is my energy so low? Uh, because I've only got one of these and I consumed it all, I guess. Roboports store a lot of energy and use it up very quickly. Okay. Saved heaps of time, I can imagine. Two minutes and forty until we get to Morpheus. Now then, uh, let's check on our, oh, Interstellar Quartermaster hasn't left the solar system yet. I'm not terribly surprised. Uh, but its speed is actually higher than expected. Um, we've settled on about 24 on average. That's actually... Uh, about one, about 20% better than expected. And there's no sign of being in danger of going too fast. Oh. Yeah, I think this is the equilibrium that, like, no matter how I tweak it, um, we have to spend some power shooting down the asteroids and we're bottlenecked on power. I think this is our maximum average speed. Which is higher than I would have manually set it. Okay, cool. We're not having trouble outputting water, I don't think so. I mean, if we were, we probably would have reached the point where it's not a problem by now. Uh, what should we do while we wait to get to Morpheus? How about some space science? We still don't have this radar dish. Let's get that. And we're already at 2,000 degrees on, let's call this outpost of three. I'm gonna, oh, we need a, we do have a roboport on this. Okay, cool. Um, I'm going to send this to Calidus Orbit and then uh, the Asteroid Belt so that we can patch. Well, let, let's make sure first. It should have pylon substations and so on. Good. Why doesn't it have... Oh, it does have radar construction pylons. Fantastic. And we're still receiving solar panels. That's fine. How much scaffolding are you carrying? I don't see any scaffolding. That is concerning. Why are we not... We are making scaffolding right now. We had an LDS problem previously. Uh, we've got 5k here. I think that means we have had a train pick this up. Um, I think I did disable the input for this old thing. So we'll dismantle that. And if there's enough scaffolding here to trigger... Let's not kill the substations, actually. Uh, if there's enough scaffolding here to trigger a train delivery... It'll come pick it up from this robot network automatically.
Um, but yeah, how much scaffolding do we actually have? Um, most of it should be here. 1.1k? Oh, no. Uh, I don't suppose that's because that's all we're asking for at the moment. We have 58k. I think it is, actually. Yeah, our target is 60k. The, the way this one works is we aim for a little bit more than can fit in a cargo rocket of each of these resources um, and just request them to go into this cargo rocket at the same time. Uh, and the moment that it's full, it'll launch. So we actually did get our scaffolding. We've got 58k in orbit right now. No worries. Uh, I would actually like... Oh, I forgot. We've got uh, energy shields, don't we? Minimum... Wait, what? Minimum consumption 1 megawatt, max consumption 1 megawatt. You're kidding. Unless there's something I'm not seeing here. Um, this is actually way more energy efficient than lasers. I thought it would mostly just be better because it can do more. But it seems to be efficiency that makes this so good. And I keep forgetting, every time I see this, I do want to try the Mechanics Overhaul mod, but I don't think it's going to be relevant in space. Large size and their range. Uh, maybe. I need to build some. Oh, we're here. Hold on. Did I build any projectors yet? No. Did I try? Oops. Uh, where's our space stuff? I did try. Why are we not building shield projectors? We're busy with other things. Hold on, let me make sure. Projector. We... I... It's in the description somewhere, isn't it? Shield projector. We haven't built any yet. Uh, what does it need? Heavy composite. I don't think those have made it up here yet. Yeah, I don't think I even remembered to ask for them or to set up a shuttle. Uh, I have built heavy composites on Nalvis. Somewhere. Uh, here it is. It's actually full. Um, so we need to set up a shuttle for this. I think this one isn't taken yet. Very good. Uh, let's go with heavy composite. Stack size 50. 2400 per chest. Um... Sure. Whoops. Oh, that's right, I was demonstrating something with this. Uh, and what number is this one? If this is 122, that should be 121. Why is this 101? Oh, I made that copper and iron. Uh, let's fix that on the map. Okay, so, and this is a second, okay, so all, all of these are, all three of these are using existing blocks already. Um, is this one not taken? This is 117, 118, 119, 
So 116. I think it'll be this one. Yeah. I don't have anything pressing that I specifically want to be dropped off in this area. On the other hand, maybe opposite. It's going to go into material science a lot, is what I'm guessing. Material science? Oh, that's actually for the tier 4 science pack. That's not going to be very high throughput. Okay. Yeah, I don't think it matters a whole lot where we put this. So let's make it 116. Um, in that case... We won't configure this area to use it. I think I'll bring the spaceship builder spider up here instead. And we won't worry about using these ones just yet. This spot, these two can be reserved for some other existing resource we want to increase the throughput of. Very happy to see liquid rocket fuel saturated everywhere after the trouble we had before. That's nice. Alright, so we're going to have a brick shuttle here. And a brick shuttle here. Whoops. Get rid of those wires. Many, many wires. Okay. Uh, heavy composite. Goes in these chests. Make sure all of the wires are connected to the train stop. And we're looking for... Eight train loads, which is uh, 64k. We can summon multiple trains. Filter goes here. Change the name of the station. Switch that on. And then... What was this one going to be? 116. Heavy Composite, 116. And then... Heavy Composite Shuttle 1. And number 2. Uh, if Heavy Composite is greater than or equal to half of this, I think it's, uh, well, no, let me not risk getting this wrong. Uh, it's 16 chests, isn't it? Yeah. So 16 by 48 stacks by 50, 38,400. And we're looking for heavy composite. If that condition is met, take off for Nalvis Orbit. 
And I think... say I think everything else is set, but we hadn't set these requests just yet. Just in time for the train. Cool. Uh, so it is going to take, like, about five train loads to fill one of these, and we don't have a way to prioritize them. We can set requests or read contents on a buffer chest. Unfortunately, we sort of need to be able to do both to do some of the stuff I would like to do. Uh, so that'll be like 10 train loads ish. It, it, it'll be almost all of the heavy composites we've already made before it launches those ships. Um, uh, and let's not forget... 116, that's already done. If heavy composite is zero... Launch and go back to Nalvis. And then... Heavy composite... Goes here. Provide stack threshold 160, three train loads is how much we might store in here. And the bots should keep that fairly balanced by themselves, but uh, we'll make it available to short trains, so we'll keep these limited. In order to keep it balanced-ish. Balanced enough. Oh, and last but not least. Whitelist it over here. There's just one problem with the shuttle system. Other than it needing a ridiculous amount of liquid rocket fuel. And that is just... A lot of steps um, to remember to set up one more resource to go up into Nalvis orbit. But once it's done, we don't have to worry about crashing rockets or anything like that. And it's also got ludicrous throughput. Okay, let's hop down to Morpheus. Um, I guess it will make sense to land next to the pyramid. Uh, I haven't... I guess I'll wait for my bots to come back. Turn off my robot for now. Oh. It looked like we had way more landfill than we actually do for a second there. Um, wait, why do we need... We don't actually need more media defense install... Oh, that's right. It was to take them from these ships so that we could accumulate them in this solar system. Um, I'm pretty sure I've cleared this, but just to be sure... Oh, I had a spill. Anyway, I'll just have to peek, poke my head in here for a second. And we'll give it a screenshot. We have some kind of tree on our star map. Let's give it a little snippy snip. And see if we can make sense of this someday. Save as... Uh, this was Morpheus, wasn't it? Morpheus. So we've got Deadwood and Morpheus that I've saved these pieces of the puzzle. Alright, back outside we go. 
and get our inventory space back. Um, I'm not sure I want... I guess it doesn't matter all that much. I was going to say I'm not sure I want to drop off this iron and stone and stuff here, but it'll sort itself out. Okay, how much range... We can actually reach this entire thing with the radar construction pylon, but the bots are going to be getting a little bit tired. Alright, I guess we'll just wait for them to finish the landfill. Um... I want to deconstruct these so that... Oh, I know what I can do. I'll turn them into green chests. They'll be available to the robot network. But they won't be put back into this spaceship. Do we have another one hovering? Yeah, we do. Oh, still, this is the same one. Uh... Yeah, the massive capacity of these ships is taking a while to fill up now, which is good. Okay. Um, I guess we'll leave that to it for now. Let's at least... Turn this stone into something useful. And... So that should be everything we need to get some shield projectors. I think I've already set a request for the heavy composites up here. I could be wrong. Yeah, that was a lie. Heavy composite... 8 a And then we still don't have our radar dish over here. Once we've... Oh, wait, let me check that you've got your radar dish before I send you over there. You're kidding. There it is. It should have already been carrying it, but the repair pack stack was split. Okay, so once we've built that, I would like to continue with material science. We've got... Products finished zero, and we're only missing blank data cards. Wait, we've got blank data cards. Oh. Oh. I messed up. Uh-oh. I think what I did here... Uh, thank you for the follow, Kurt. Welcome, welcome. Hope you're doing well. I think what I did here is didn't anticipate that we would get literally every resource full before we got blank data cards. And I said, okay, we've got 48 chests of storage. That means we can fit this much of all of these different resources. But because we got blank data cards last, as in everything else we got filled up first, we actually ran out of space in these chests for the blank data cards. Um... It is possible to balance these with circuits, but we would need one combinator per chest. Wait. No, we wouldn't. But... I would have to have regular filter inserters here. Um, which would slow the whole thing down. I'm pretty sure I had a reason... 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6. 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6. You know what I could have done here? 
No, I see why I didn't have a separate chest for each resource. That would make it six times slower to unload from the train. Filter slot on the chests for data cards. Uh, yeah, you mean dedicated chests for each resource. I, I don't want to do that, it'll be slow. Um, what I could do... What I feel like doing is making a version of our... Where's a good example? Here's one. Uh, what, what's, what's your problem? You're looking for blank data cards? What, wait, why are you looking for 7.9k blank data cards? No, that's, that's unacceptable. Also, this provides stack threshold should be higher, so that we make sure there's a bit extra, so that we make sure it's perfectly in sync when these all swing. Um, where are you going with this? Wall, blank data card. Hmm. It's requesting 8k, but the request stack threshold is lower. I wish I could set it so that it's not only the provide threshold, but we only pick up anything from the station if... Uh, it's lucky I didn't connect this wire, otherwise I'd be wondering how on earth we got some of these inserters sticking out. Actually, I want to run a little experiment here. We've got plenty of blank data cards. No, if this is looking for anything but a multiple of four, this will cause problems. 7972. It could easily have been 7973. Even if that is divisible by four. Uh, yeah, I'm surprised we haven't run into this problem before. Because we're requesting only a small train at a time. I think I should just not have small trains drop off here. I could use this... Hmm. If I if I make this an LTN stop and call it trash drop off, I could request all the stuff that I only want to pick up with short trains here. And I think it would still work with the vanilla behavior. I'm pretty sure. I don't know if you can filter chest like you can do with trains. Yeah, no, you can't do it that way. Unfortunately. Uh, but the easiest way to fix this is just... demand one whole train load of everything here and set the provide thresh uh, request threshold to 160. Robot frames. Hmm. Yeah, I can't be. Yeah, no, this is. This I'll have to do. Unless I want to go to the trouble of putting all the smaller things over here. But I don't. Uh, candy man that can. Welcome, welcome. Hope you're doing well. 
also Bert and Quibari. Welcome, welcome. Hope you're doing well also. 2k... Alright, hopefully that will sort that out. Anyway, uh, the reason I was looking for a... one of these... So the way this works is we set blacklist on the filter inserters. Uh, we get the total of each resource divided by negative 24, 24 being the number of chests, gives us the negative average of each of those. Um, implicitly we get addition and subtraction between that negative and the positive from the individual chest on the red wire here. And if something is above zero, it means we're above average, so we don't want to pick that up. Uh, what I need to do right now is make a whitelist version of this so that we can use stack filter inserters. Also, so that uh, I also need to do that anyway because we've got more than five types of resource here. And filter inserters only have five filters. Uh, so, what I'm going to need to do... Um, I'm going to need 6x4 inserters. We're going to connect the chests. We're going to connect the inserters together. We're going to set filters whitelist. We're going to need why is this in here? Doesn't matter. We're going to need an arithmetic combinator at the very least. Uh, we're going to need to read from the individual chests with each inserter. That might actually be a problem. I think I ran into the same problem quite recently, where I was trying to do a different kind of balanced loader. And I was realizing that what I want is, instead of greater than zero, if we're above average, I want it to be less than zero. And I think... I think I ended up figuring out that I would need to have an arithmetic combinator for every single inserter. Because number go up in chest necessarily means positive signal on red wire go up. Hmm. It's easy enough to do with, uh, with one chest. We just say... Constant Combinator with a negative value of all the things that we want in here. Um, set filters blacklist. Well, no, not set filters blacklist. We're doing it the other way around. Set filters whitelist. Um, for each that's greater than some number. Output... 
actually go down here. I don't think we need that red wire. Uh, for... For each greater than, let's say, five output each. It could be one, it could be input count, doesn't really matter. We're going to multiply it by negative a million. So we're going to remove it from the whitelist. Set filters whitelist, and then we'll have a positive signal for uh, I guess that could go straight to the combinator. Yeah, no, that that's fine, and then it doesn't throw this off. But anything we've got more than five of, we're going to remove from the filter. Obviously, I could probably do that with one arithmetic, couldn't I? Something like... If I go each divided by 5, once it's 5 or greater, it'll output. How about each divided by negative 5? This is purely academic, since I'm not going to bother with this if... Um, well, what's the stack size 12? Let, let's go stack size 1 just to... Just so we can see this work. Bring one iron plate here at a time. Once we get to five, we'll get a negative one signal. That's not going to be sufficient, is it? Because... Wait, no, yes it is, because this isn't reading from the chest. Yeah, no, that works. Is there any way we can scale this up so we don't need one combinator per chest? I don't think so. Yeah, I seriously doubt that. Specifically because we need to send a negative, we're going to need an arithmetic combinator on a per chest basis. Hmm. And again, filter inserters are no good. Just, like, if, if it was any less than six resources that go into this, um, I would just use filter inserters, or seriously consider it. How fast is this? Oh, it's actually... 1.467 per second for most of these resources, for inputs. And 8 per second for blank data cards. Hmm. I might actually have an idea here. We could use the usual filtered balanced loader, but blank data cards are basically always whitelisted. Or they'll just be removed from the blacklist. Yeah, I like this. Let's let's do this. 
Okay, spiders are going to have a bit of a walk. Let's make sure they don't walk over any spaceships. Um, that should be fine. We're going to... So we'll, we'll unload from the train nice and quick. Um... Since the most of these resources are slow, I think this will be okay. We're going to have filter inserters here. They're going to be reading from their individual chests. We're going to have the usual arithmetic combinator. And we're going to have negative a million blank data cards so that the filter inserters will always pick up blank data cards. Oh, well, that wasn't so difficult actually. Here is our... the beginnings of our... reactor. And I guess it's time to point one of these at Morpheus. Energize Morpheus. Right about here. Fantastic. Uh, why is it not built yet? We do have receivers. The bots just haven't... haven't gotten around to it. Okay. Spiders are... halfway there. I'm going to have to... Empty these chests, I think. Do our scaffolding spiders still have a lot of space? Not at all. Why would I think that, actually? Well, I actually just need to... I actually just need to get one stack. One slot for blank data cards in each of these chests. And then the whole thing will sort itself out. Um, I still... Okay, this could be a little bit of a problem. I still want to look at all of these chests for... Which... Do I want to do that? 24,000 iron plate, that is 1.5 train loads. I think I did 1.5 for each of these. Um, except possibly iridium plate because the stack size was smaller. So we've got... No, I think this is... Yeah, this is two train loads. So we've got 3, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10 train loads which fits in... this is 7.2, this is 14.4 train loads that can fit here. Um, as long as I set the appropriate limits for these other resources down here, that should be okay. Except... I'm going to want to use a different... Let's turn this off before I mess with this. A different wire color for these chests. So that it doesn't interfere with the circuit we're about to build. That's going to be red wire. Oops. And 
得，跟住啊，跟住 here。Now I was just thinking of something I hadn't anticipated. What was it? It's not that I want to. Hmm. I think I just want to limit each resource in each chest based on how many blank data cards there are. So each ah, uh, this is tricky. If I was going to do this again, all that would do is yeah, no, this should work. Um. So we're going to cal calculate the average of each, like we usually do. No, the e the average works separately for each resource. Uh, it's not just that I want to... It's not so much that I want to balance them. They should be balanced anyway. Um, it's that I want to limit them. How do I do that? We do have exactly the same... No, we don't. Okay. No, we should balance them. So we want to balance and limit. Mm-mm. I think we add a combinator here that says uh, for each less than some amount. And we'll just go by the iridium plate since it's the smallest stack size. We really only need a few stacks, like a couple of stacks of each thing. Let's say... Uh, 160. That'll be four to five stacks of iridium plate. Well, let's start with 80 and see how that goes. Uh, if for each less than 80, uh, not 80, but 80 times 24, 1920. Let's say each less than 1900. Output each input count. So we're only going to get... But this is for blacklist. So... This is going to output the negative, which is going to remove it from the blacklist. So in that case, it's actually for each thing greater than 1.9k. Output each input count. We're not going to just blacklist it from every inserter. We're going to blacklist it from the ones that are... This is confusing. How come your research is not progressing? What's missing? Uh, last I checked, it was... Oh. These data cards. That should probably be the first delivery. It's not the first delivery of these. Uh, is fluid broken? 
Oh, I see the problem. I'm a little bit surprised by that one, but there it is. We're not getting rid of the 25 degree thermofluid in this block. So now we can make extended astronomic catalogs. We've only made 191 all time. Uh, but previously it was we didn't have dark energy data, so it's not too surprising we didn't find that problem yet. Okay. Did we finish... Why is this at 15 degrees? What? Angelus. Energize. Morpheus. Why do you have zero gigawatts? What? Huh? Working? We've got power. We've got a little bit of spare power. What? What? I think it's because... What? What the... What? Huh? All of the ones on the right are not getting anything. Do these have to, like, saturate before these ones will get any power? What is... 18.97 gigawatts. Why? Six point three two. I don't think these numbers are changing. I think they've reached their limits. This thing is directly connected to an injector, to a chamber, to this emitter. And yet this thing is getting zero. Sick as I'm currently playing a C block. Nice. The Cody. Welcome, welcome. Hope you're doing well. Um, does anyone have the slightest reason, uh, uh, slightest idea why this would be happening? Is this a bug, or is there something I'm not understanding about how these beam chambers work? I don't think. I don't think this is intended behavior that the three emitters on the left are taking everything and these ones aren't working. I think it would benefit not to connect them together. I mean, if it worked properly, it would actually benefit us to connect all of these because uh, these injectors take one gigawatt each. Uh, and we need not exact multiples of one gigawatt from our various emitters. So, you know, if we have a couple of receivers that need 2.4 gigawatts, it's obviously much better if we have two of them connected with five. Also, this has worked before. Um, at Calidus, for example, we've got 10 gigawatts here, 10 six gigawatts here. What? Well, luckily this one doesn't need more than six gigawatts, but still, what the hell? Four gigawatts and four gigawatts. That's weird. How do you then adjust if one needs three times the power and one needs five by? Yeah, you would think it would sort itself out, but it's not doing that. I guess we were just lucky here. Hmm. 
Hmm. Well, what do I do now? Um. Can I perhaps uh, use picker dollies? Energy beam emitter does not support moving. Uh. That's very disappointing. So we basically can't be efficient with this. Or at best we need to... I imagine if we deconstructed all of these and then built them all at exactly the same time, they would get the same power. Which is probably what happened at Calidus Orbit. Well... For now, luckily we don't need six of these, so let's just take the most powerful one and send it to our energy beam receiver. Beam chambers are just fancy pipes that handle a special fluid. So there's no guarantees of even distribution. You can remove and re-add some emitters and the distribution will likely change. I see. Okay. Uh, Hanno Dest, thank you. Welcome, welcome. Hope you're doing well. RF Holloway, Morton, good to see you again. Welcome, welcome. Hope you're doing well also. All right. Um, let's connect our power. Um, how about a pylon here somewhere? And I don't think we have enough have enough landfill. Um, five point three k. Actually, we should. Oh, this one brought some more. Let's go. Before it leaves. Let's place the rest of this here. We should have enough uh, steam turbines and stuff to build one of these. Now then, back to Nalvis Orbit. Uh, so... I might be getting a detail wrong, but I think it's going to be something like... Uh, we're going to need the red wire connection. Set filters blacklist. Uh, okay. I think I know why I did that. Um, all right, so we're going to blacklist Okay, we don't want this in series, we want it in parallel, actually So we're going to do the each divided by negative 24 to do the usual multi-balancer. And we're also going to output... Oh, we've done this before. I, I forgot. One of our sciences. Was this it? Yeah. Uh, I think in... Uh, this isn't the exact one I was thinking of, but... Here it is. We're actually multi-balancing and limiting this. So we've got each divided by negative 24 output each. We set the blacklist, and that gives us our balance for each individual item. And then we also set a limit in parallel here by saying... If this resource is about is above this arbitrary number, um, just output the input count. And since this is looking for a 
a positive means don't pick it up. We don't need an arithmetic combinator after that or anything. Um, so I, I think in this case I could have used each greater than 28k output each instead of these two, since we're looking for the same maximum for each resource. Um, because the stack sizes are different down here, we might want to use individual combinators to specify... Uh, to specify our limits here. We're looking for the same volume of everything. So I don't care if we have fewer stacks of beryllium plate that we let down here, as long as there's room for everything. Um, I think I added this up to like 10 point something train loads. We can fit 14. As long as we make room for everything, that's all that really matters. Okay, so we're going to say each divided by negative 24 output each. Let's just try going with the smallest stack size. What's 48 over 6? Eight stacks of iridium plate times 24. Uh, 7,680. Let's call it 7,600. So for each thing that's greater than 7,600, output each blacklist. And we're just never going to blacklist blank data cards. Because we're only looking for six for two train loads. Yeah, that should work. Okay, so blank data card. Negative a million. Next to here. And that way we also never have to worry about running out of blacklist here. So now if we remove some of these, just enough to make room for some blank data cards, uh, we should see if this is working. And that may or may not do it. Fantastic. Alright, let's send you back to the mall for now. Get that stuff out of your inventory. Actually, I think we can do that here. Although... No, 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 no. Stop, 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 stop. Get away from the bots. No, run, run. Okay. I'm, they picked up iron, so I'm just going to send them back to this block here. Um, all of the iron is going to go where it belongs. And if there was any excess, it would end up in the trash going back to the mall. And if they're carrying anything else in their trash that doesn't belong here, it'll go back to the mall as well. Nice. We need to... We need to put a charger in here. And... Maybe another... Radar construction pylon or two. I don't think the bots can reach further than this. That should do it. And 
then. Uh, let's do another material science. And I actually said material instead of mechanical. Alright, so I'm pretty sure this is the only tier 4 data card we've done for material science. Uh, let's actually just check. We're getting some catalogs. Fantastic. Uh, we should see Astro... Astro 4 start moving soon. Fantastic. Uh, we're going to need some scaffolding spiders. I think I will get them to build a block over here. And let's look at our recipes. This one's very straightforward. I just need to set up a shuttle to bring space platform scaffolding. We do recycle iridium plate. And output con a lot of contaminated scrap. Okay. Uh, what about this one? I think these two were very similar, weren't they? Five seconds and ten seconds, but it's plastic or material testing pack, plus iridium plate blank data card, uh, plus a fluid, and then it outputs some iridium plate, contaminated scrap, and data, and also thermofluid on this one. So if we build laser shielding data first, electrical shielding data, I think the electromagnetic facility is the same size and shape as the laser facility. I'll just make sure. Facility. Oh, there it is right there. Um, and the laser. They're all the same, I think. Yeah, exactly the same size and shape. So, if we build the laser shielding data first, we can literally just copy paste that and change the change the ingredients. Um. And we don't need the output fluid. Okay. Did we run out of landfill? Oh, we actually did. Uh, whoops. We've got Morpheus 1 waiting with uh, 1.6k. How much are we missing here? Probably a lot less than that. Uh, tile ghost. 1.3k. So as soon as this one takes off. Which is going to be a minute. Unless I force the issue. Bit of a waste of rocket fuel, but... Could do worse. Ooh, I should be building out... Um these drills now, since we have enough power already to support them. Uh, normally the space trucks just bring one, but we should have some on the way from the outposter. Where's our drill? One, two... Where's our last one? There it is. Hurry up, little bot. I want to see how fast we're going. 
so this is... Drumroll. Uh, 76.675 brilliant core fragments per second. And we've still got room for more. So let's do that. So what was that? Eight more? 400 megawatts? That, we can comfortably fit that. Okay. Back to orbit. What is going on here? Slackers. Uh, I think we might use our usual layout. Uh, how many inputs and outputs are we looking at? One, two, three, physical and a fluid. Or all of the inputs. Uh, that is a little bit awkward. Depends how fast it's going to be. Um, I think we will start with this as a template though. get the constructions, whoops, let's get the construction spiders in on it, and we're actually looking for laser facilities, not thermodynamic, it some modules for fish indeed welcome jay and kazan uh welcome welcome hope you're doing well good to see you again what were we looking for laser shielding data So what kind of rate are we going to be looking at here? Uh, that's... Oh. Out of date. Okay, so we should be looking at... Full speed, or we'll put some efficiency modules in, maybe. Um... 120 megawatts each. We can live. Now then. Our rate, if we double this. Ooh, that's kind of fast. That is more than kind of fast. It's less than one belt net of iridium plate. Two belts of testing data. Two belts of blank data card. Um, multiply this by 4 and we get the rate of fluid 1.15k probably won't actually go that fast um, output probably won't be this quick either Output would be less than a belt, so we don't need this. Oh, this was actually for two different outputs. Wait, where did I copy that from? Because I think I had the hot thermodynamics data turned off, question mark? It's biocombustion. What? No, this was the first one of these blocks we did. Hot and cold. Is that what I copied it from? I thought the one on the right was switched off. 
not the one I copied this from. I hope I didn't leave something broken earlier. I think we probably would have noticed by now if I did. Thermodynamics facility, that was definitely... Yeah, here it is, hot and cold. And this is hot and biocombustion. Okay, something is wrong somewhere. Biocombustion. I think that's what I copied this from. And this is hot. I think... Yeah, no, I copied this from up here earlier and never ended up using this side. Okay. That's not... That's not an actual problem. Um, but yeah, if we if we do this times four, oh, that's more than two belts of laser shielding data. I don't think we'll actually be doing that. Let's suppose we might go as aggressive as two. That would be two belts. Two belts of this, two belts of this, and... Mm. Uh, I need a quick break, so I'm going to have a think about that. Let's do the LTN screensaver, and I'll be back shortly. Okay, so I'm definitely going to use some efficiency modules this time. Uh, Majones, welcome, welcome. Hope you're doing well. Is it madness yet? Always. Okay, so we're going to go for... I think it's seven efficiency modules. This is six. I think 7 gives us the minimum efficiency modules for uh, minimum power consumption. Why don't we have efficiency modules? Are we not requesting them? Those are efficiency 3s. Let's check the preset for... 
Space Constructor Tron. Yeah, we're not requesting these right now. Uh, okay. What about removing the tier 3 ones? We definitely don't need productivity modules in the space constructotrons. Uh, literally, the only thing they can prod is... Um, uh, the science labs, which we've already got sorted out. Okay, we do not want to check that box. That's going to apply it to the player. We do want to save it to the Space Constructotron preset. Uh, and then back here. Space Constructotron. Copy, paste all over the place. And send them back to the mall just briefly. And that should bring them back with some efficiency modules. What's this train waiting for? Broken data cards. Okay. Those stack to 50, I believe. They do. 8,001. How did we get broken data cards in here? I wonder what we were making that spits those out. Okay. That'll take a minute. Uh, we're still waiting on our landfill because we're waiting for that ship to land. Inserters are keeping up with the belts. Uh, they should be able to keep up with a full belt. Oh, these aren't powered, which means we just slowed down everything just by building them. Alright, how much, uh... Or fragment are we looking at now? We should be well into diminishing returns at this point. 87. That's not too bad. Uh, do we have any more power? We do. I don't think it's worth adding more drills at this point. Maybe when we get this thing running full speed. And I would like to dismantle the old power plant, actually. Are we still resupplying Morpheus with this thing? I think we are. There should be no need. Let's just remove that for now. A C for cat. Good to see you again. Oh, welcome, welcome. Hope you're doing well. How's your stream today? Factorio, indeed. Seems good. Okay, I think I will uh, get this thing to take off early just so that we can get the landfill. Um, so I'm just going to temporarily... Oh, let me just copy-paste this here, and then I'm going to swap it around. And then as soon as the ship is taking off, I'll copy that back. Oh, it actually... Okay, I thought it cancelled its takeoff, but it didn't. So now we've got our landfill, and we should be able to finish this in one go. 
Prod modules 8 are crazy? Oh yeah, I can imagine. So where are you on... Do you mean crazy expensive or crazy good? Or both? So where are you on the path to endgame and what are the short term plans? Uh, short to medium term plans are I'm getting energy beaming set up in all of my outpost um, solar systems. Uh, we've got some... We just built built a spaceship today, which is the smallest. Where is it? Oh, there you are. It, is this it? It's further along than I thought it was. Um, this is the smallest ion spaceship I could come up with, uh, pretty much. And it's carrying as much media defense installation ammo as possible. I wish I had the Calidus emote right now. Beaming is fun, indeed. Um, yeah, this is just resupplying media defense installation ammo to all of our uh, solar outposts that we're now setting up. Um, and all of our existing outposts are going to be patched to run off of that. I also made... Oh, that's right, I sent it to the sun. Uh... Wait, where are... Where... What? Where is... Huh? Um, I don't think I gave that ship a name, and I don't know where it is. I thought I sent it to... Calidus Orbit? Is it, is it still here? Oh, it is still here. Okay, let's make sure we name it. The Outpost of Three, I did name it. Uh, this one I'm going to be using for outposting, but I sort of accidentally built a replacement, a, a Mark II for our space trucks. Um, this is the original shape. It's literally just like a tile shorter and a tile thinner in a couple of places. So we're going to be able to use this as our workhorse um, with minimal changes to our... I think it's just the drop-off stations where we need to change anything uh, because we've got these chests that are right next to um, these ones. bonk? What was the bonk for? Uh, but yeah, we're, we're going to be able to actually phase out nuclear power for our interstellar ships, which I think is pretty cool. Um, and it's kind of... I, I wanted to set up energy beaming partly so that I wouldn't have to worry about the way we're resupplying uh, nuclear fuel to these outposts because I was just using a few stacks in these buffer chests here uh, so that they could carry a bunch of other stuff for resupplying the outposts. Um, but on occasion, uh, they actually had all their uranium, taken, uh, uranium fuel cells taken away from them and they got stuck in space. But if one or both of our spaceships or... Um, outposts are running off of beam power, that ceases to be a problem. The energy beam receivers have a shocking amount of heat capacity, so even at maybe a thousand or so degrees, they've got more than enough heat stored um, to go back and forth a couple of times on interstellar voyages. So at 10,000 degrees, uh, this thing this thing will run until it runs out of water or ion stream, I believe. Probably ion stream. IT hacks and chats. Sheep say meh. Good to see you again. Welcome, welcome. Hope you're doing well. 
Uh, I did have to sacrifice a bit of ion stream storage. Uh, we went from 60k... No, sorry. Uh, 100k. Uh, we had to drop it by 33%, I believe it was. We've now got 40, 50, 60, 5,000. Yeah. So we're down to like two-thirds of our ion stream storage um, for these ships, but we've never come close to running out of ion stream with our space trucks, so I don't think that's a problem. Looks like we got our landfill finished. Uh, so let's... Where is... Let's put this here for the moment, and we'll finish our build. Fantastic. Uh, and then... Do we have enough stuff left to bother going to Sanj? Um, I wanted to set up a power plant here. Uh, it's quite big. 8,845. We're probably... No, we're definitely... Oh, in fact, I need to set this up right now. Um... We need to refuel our outposter to get off planet and even if it is fully fueled when it leaves here uh, we're probably going to need to set up fuel production on the planet to get off of that other planet Might need some. Might need to remove some chests from the ship as well, in order to be able to take off. Um, but that's copper. We haven't been having trouble with copper really for a while. Robust. Thank you for the raid. Welcome, welcome. Hope you're doing well. How's your stream? We making profits in here. What is that? Bop. Oh, it's a global. Playing some Factorio. Fantastic. Okay. Um, should I bother... How, how much stuff do we have left? We've got 591 heat pipe. This only requires 400. Oh, we finished building this already. Very nice. Let's replace that. Uh, how many steam engines do... Oh my goodness, that's a lot of steam turbines we still have. Um... We need 412, we've got 371, that's most of them. What about... we've only got 8 heat exchanges. So, not so much. I mean, 8, eight heat exchanges will let us run enough stuff to get oil going so we can refuel the ship and leave. Uh, I think it was... Th there's oil here, not a whole lot of it. I was trying to figure out where I wanted to set this outpost up. 
Um, I think there's pretty much only one choice. I do want to visit that pyramid. Uh, there's oil up here as well, a thousand percent, nine hundred percent, and might, uh, 486, that's not great. Did I bring the cannons? 423. I don't think it really matters how fast our oil is here, because we just need to be able to refuel our ship once. Um, after that, we're going to use cannons to get stuff into orbit, and then we'll pick up stuff from orbit. Uh, but I don't think I brought any cannons, actually. That's a bit of a shock. Am I carrying some personally? 20. That's not too bad. Was good. Got to head out now to do some IRL things. Lots of love. Take care. See you, robust. Good luck, indeed. Also, Ryan, scale the summit. Good to see you again. Welcome, welcome. Hope you're doing well. Is that a 2 gigawatt receiver setup? Yes, 2.4. Um, it is four times, uh, if I calculated it correctly, the smallest ratio that gives... Th this is the smallest perfect ratio, I think, for the heat exchangers and turbines. Um, 103 steam per second uh, produced and 60 consumed from heat exchanger to steam turbine. Uh, and this thing has radial symmetry. So, with uh, 240 10 megawatt uh, heat exchangers, that gives us 2.4 gigawatts. And from what I've seen, uh, it does seem to get it does seem to get all of the steam going where it needs to go. I'm new to SE. How did you land on the planet with ion engines? Oh, uh, with this spaceship? The liquid rocket fuel booster tanks, uh, for some reason, have a VTOL component built in. Uh, you can see that mentioned in the help just here. That is... Okay. O okay. Uh... Also need a spaceship rocket booster tank and a spaceship rocket engine. The booster tank is what stores the fuel you need to get into space and provides the VTOL component. So apparently there are engines underneath the ship or something. Uh, so we're not actually taking off with ion. The liquid rocket fuel is just for taking off. Did you get that from Factorio Prints or design it yourself? I designed it myself. I'm quite happy with this one. I see, thanks, no worries. Don't call me late for dinner. Welcome, welcome. Hope you're doing well. Um, so yeah, I guess we will... Let me just make sure. I've got fuel refineries, chemical plants, oil refineries. This should be fine. Uh, yeah, I think we will go to the new copper core planet while we're out here. And... Uh, I think we will continue to take landfill um, from any ships that bring it here. Uh, we maybe don't need to accumulate that much. We need... 9.1k uh, yeah let, let's just call it two chests full if we want to make one of these um, so I'll 
have like four chests requesting landfill here. Oh, and I wanted to leave with these media defense installations. Are the glaives still running? No, they've done their job. I mean, I stopped, I, I gave up on glaiving Quintilian. Uh, Qu Quillian, sorry. Quintilian. Uh, it is. It is just too big and full of bitus um, for the glaives that we've got running. I saw a 2 gigawatt design at Factorio Prints that looks very similar to yours. I mean, there's only so many ways to do it, right? Um, especially since I learned the hard way that heat pipes do have a throughput limit. Uh, that part I was not expecting. Especially since um, heat pipes will hold onto heat indefinitely. So I kind of thought it's not um, it's not how long you make the heat pipes. It's just do you have too many heat exchangers? Well, it's sort of a bit of both. It's only so much heat can run down this one, and do you have too many heat exchangers from here? Just build bigger glaives. I mean, it's still an awful lot of stuff. Uh, let's not take off in this ship. That would be bad. What did I come here for again? Oh yeah, the uh, media defense installations. I mean, the design is pretty similar to a lot of nuclear designs, so at some point somebody's going to convert them. Indeed. Uh, I did save the Morpheus... Let me just double check. Uh, save as... Yeah, we've got Morpheus. Uh, the screenshot of the patterns inside here. Okay, what's the name of the planet we're heading to? Should I go to the orbit first? I think so. Uh, Sanj Orbit. Oh, I need liquid rocket fuel first. I kind of forgot. Yeah, this is going to take a minute. Um, let me through. Oh, I'm still wearing my power armor. Whoops. Give me some... Give me some legs. It's a little bit better. Uh, and we need some... That's a space pipe. How about this? Don't need this anymore. Some regular pipe here, and here, and here. And we could probably use a pump or two over this way. Go make sure those get built. Looks like they're already on their way. Fantastic. Uh, I am really liking the radar construction pylons. Okay. So ETA to... Uh, is this broken? Oh, there's no power here. Okay. so slow. Give to me the power. There we go. What kind of freight are we getting on this? No power, again. Okay, should have made that a substation. Pump has no power, indeed. 
been putting it off for a while, but I think today is the day I go to a Vitamelange planet. I've got a shit ton of personal lasers and over 300 nukes, so I think that should do the job indeed. Uh, got kind of lucky with our second big Vitamelange planet um, in the solar system, uh, and I actually managed to get everything on a little island, so we didn't need to clear the planet. Uh, and luckily, the second to last big nuclear design that I made works reasonably well with an energy beam receiver shoved in the middle where the nuclear reactors used to be. Oh wow, that's cool. We are actually saturated on Vitamelange. But... Oh, I bet I know where you're going. Yep. We're getting rid of this Vitamelange so that we can get more vanilla core fragments and stone. Why do you need so much power there for all of the core miners? Yes, they are 50 megawatts each. And they give you diminishing returns the more uh, the more coal miners you have. And I really prefer to ramp these up to the point where we can run the whole base off them, as opposed to having to build temporary mines over and over again. Uh, okay, so what's our rate of fuel? 1200 per second? Uh, that's not too bad. At that rate... We're looking at only six minutes to refuel the ship. So once this is refueled, uh, and I do mean fully refueled, uh, we'll go to Sanj Orbit, and I'm going to set up uh, a platform to receive the core mined copper fragments here, so that the spaceships don't have to land on such a big planet. Uh, it would be nice if we had space elevators, but cannons will have to do. Unfortunately, that means I also have to set up a supply chain to bring explosives and delivery cannon capsules, but all that actually means is I need to add... Um, Delivery cannon capsules and explosives to this block here. And we'll put the explosives and delivery cannon capsules in some of these chests. Where does your Factorio sieve fit on the Kardashev scale? Uh, that'd be like a 1.01, .01, right? Well, no, don't you have to, don't you have to have, like, complete, like, not just dominate the planet, but you have to have, sort of, total mastery of, like, all of the energy on the planet, right? What? 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 What happened here? What? You're joking. I don't think this was on Nalvis. Um, how many media defense installations do we have? Are they all still working? I should probably... Okay, they are all still working. So we've got 2, 4, 6, 8, 10... Uh... 
14, 16, 18 media defense installations. And we still... We still... Wait, maybe it was bots. How many bots do we have here? Uh, 6,000 logistic bots? Can we check in bonuses? What's that research called? Um, swarm safety. Logistic bots won't damage things when they crash if they are... I don't think it was a logistic bot crash. Up to 500 active logistic bots per research level. We've got 13 times 500. That's actually pretty close to the 6,000. Uh, 6,500, so... That wasn't a logistic bot crash issue. But we could actually research a couple of these. Nope, I am not here. Good to see you again. Welcome, welcome. Hope you're doing well. What are we bunking or awing? Control over the weather too, indeed. One is whole planet, two is whole star, three is whole galaxy. One is using all the energy of an entire planet. Level two is the entire energy of an entire system. Yep, yep, yep. So you're not Kardashev one if you're just sort of high tech and all over the planet. Especially if you're making a mess of it. 13 is not researched yet in... Oh, true. No, wait, this is... This is 13. Yeah, okay. But I don't know if that was... I, I'm pretty sure... I'm pretty sure we wouldn't have seen like a little line of damage if it had been bots falling. We only have 12 levels researched, so 6,000 bots, I guess. It might be more likely than a media getting through. I think I mentioned it once before, I had 10 defense cannons that all fired with success, but at 12 meteors, so had some space station damage. Don't think I'll ever see 12 meteor swarm ever again. 10 should be enough. Yeah, and that's discounting the fact that since some update, um, the orbit cannons and the ones on the ground uh, count for this protecting the same areas as well. So we've actually got another 12 up here. So it really shouldn't have been a media. Are you okay? Yeah, you're fine. Or... Perhaps not. I'm trying to pick up ammo, but this one won't leave. Uh, did I break this, or... I think I may have just left this train here when I fixed this problem. Let's see, 128k. Uh, we've got 32 chests. 153k. That shouldn't be a problem. I'll send you back to the depot. I think we fixed that one, otherwise the one on the left would still be messed up. Odds for 12 is like winning the lottery. It was a space and time warping media that would explain it. Well, I mean, technically mass does warp space and time. 12 factorial meters? <laughs> Spider drop pods in disguise? Uh, they are on some planets. Could it have been a crashed cargo shuttle? Uh, possibly... No, not in this location. It couldn't. Uh, but yeah, I think it is bots, because we've got the same block suffering damage now.
I wonder if we've got... Okay, how have we got 6,000 logistic bots in this block? And these identical blocks that are automatically resupplied in the same way, responding to need, have 3,000, 2,000, 2,700, uh, 2,800, and... 2,800. That's weird. I wonder if it's because it's closest to all of these blocks making things like uh, beryllium powder, for example. What's the problem here? Uh, the water output is full. I thought... Oh, you're joking. Oh no, I never built this. Uh, okay. Alright. Temporary fix. Let's just make room in that water. This place is actually net positive on water. Originally I built it so that the train station would both supply the initial bit of water, but then as it filled up more, the trains would take it away. But we've stopped having anywhere for the trains to go with the water. Um, so I was going to put a uh, electric boiler here. And just pump all but the last of the water into that. Uh, if water is greater than, let's say, 5,000. Uh, where's our construction spiders? That's right, I had to get them to fix that, didn't I? Are you carrying electric boiler? Doesn't look like it. One, please. And get down here once you're done. Uh, I just can't seem to keep beryllium flowing, and it's all my fault every time. I wonder if that's actually why we were having problems with uh, scaffolds. Aeroframe scaffolds. What was that just me seeing? Was that just me seeing that, or was that normal? Way down by our bot problem. The outbound laid in the wilderness. Oh, this again. I think... Yep. It'll be because this station was drying up. Okay, that one... That one we can just have some spiders deconstruct. Although, they should have been able to go here. I'm not seeing what the issue was with that one. Where are you trying to go? Uh, oh, I th think we need a... I think we need a regular signal in here somewhere. <laughs> Whoops. Yeah. Yeah, okay. I may have gone a bit far with my discovery of how... If there's a station, chain signals that act like regular signals, asterisk. So that should be a regular, that should be a regular, and that should be a regular. Get the spiders to fix that as well. Once they've dropped off the uh, electric boiler. Don't you get coal from coal mining? I do. This was a stopgap. Um, and I do have priorities set up so that basically 
if coal core mining is meeting all of our needs, uh, we won't be taking from this, or we'll only be taking from it to put it into storage, which, ooh, that's a good, that, that is a beautiful site. Completely full on coal now. Um, I think this is set up as a lower, oh, it's actually normal priority. I wonder if I should make these storages low priority pickups, probably. Um, but yeah, uh, it is a, it is effectively a higher priority to take from core mining. Um, and also since we're full up on everything, uh, the stuff that's mined from these temporary mines, uh, is on a different network, encoded network ID, uh, to this place. So we only destroy resources that come from infinite sources to make room for more infinite resources. Um, so so if, if we're meeting all of our needs, um, or almost all of our needs with like coal core mining, we're going to eat away at this very slowly. Um, it's not going to just gobble it all up immediately and like block the coal core mining. As long as the mine is lower priority, the storage can be normal priority, I think. Uh, yeah, that sounds about right. Um, we're full. We're like 99.9% .9 full. I'll still give that a minute. Well, no, it's gonna... We're gonna need to refuel to take off from that other place, no matter what. Should I leave this here? Probably not. Let's pick that up. Let's not leave a mess everywhere we go. Speaking of which, I don't think we need that random plastic. How long have you played the game in general? Uh, years. I didn't play Factorio from the earliest days, but uh, I've played it on and off for years. I've, I've seen uh, I've seen a lot of changes. There's there's quite a few things I didn't recognize when I saw a stream running like a super old version of Factorio for the nostalgia, uh, but like at least half of it. I did recognize as, oh yeah, that used to look like that. Um, there's been a lot of quality of life improvements that got added to the vanilla game. Let's go... what was it called again? Sanj. Sanj Orbit. And I do have my spider, right? Yes, good. I don't think I ever whipped it out this time. That's cool. Indeed. Yeah, it's been a... I mean, I've, I've obviously played Factorio a lot more since streaming it. Uh, but absent of that, it's always been a game that I will come back to. Like back when you had to kill biters for science packs, indeed. The science revamp was a good change, yep. Absolutely. I think when they first released core miners, they looked so different, and you could only place them by depleted surface deposits. Interesting. Yeah, I quite like... Um, the trade-off of, like, it's more of a logistical challenge dealing with all the outputs, but you do get that infinite trickle of resources. 
Uh, what were we doing in orbit? Is this thing still working? Uh, yes and no. I forgot to switch this back on. Uh, it is... We, ha we do have one, two, three, four, five different resources here. And we are leaving room for the blank data cards. So yes, that is working pretty well, actually. Now what were we building up here? Laser shielding data. And let me just double check we're underway. Uh, why are we... Oh, I see. I'm glad I checked. I mean, we would have gotten there eventually on our one megawatt solar panel. Um, but still. Uh, let's see. I was going to remove the fluid inputs up here. So that I could get... Uh, one belt each of two inputs on that side. 46. It just had to be slightly more. How dare you. Uh, are we at minimum power consumption? Not even close. Plus 800%. Oh, why do we only have five of these? I think I was replacing these one by one to confirm that it's seven for the minimum efficiency modules to get minimum power consumption. But I accidentally started at five instead of six as well. Okay. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven. And that leaves us at plus 200%, actually. Uh, okay. How about this? Alright, so that's what it took to get us to negative 80%. I'll just double check. Whoops. What, what the, what? Oh, okay. That was spooky. If we give it one more speed module... Oh. 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8. Negative 80%. That's... plus 200. A single efficiency module is negative 400. That's crazy. Okay. So this is the... This is the minimum it takes to get to... Well, I mean, we could use, like, one smaller module if we wanted to be really finicky, but... I can't quite be bothered with that. Uh, so this is minus 80% power consumption... That gives us less than 45 per second for each resource. Less than half a belt for Iridium Plate. And I would like to... Well, first of all... We're going to need some steel chests here. These are going to be filter inserters. What's the rate for the individual items? 6.25 contaminated scrap per second. Okay, the only thing we're swapping is iridium plate. So we'll just blacklist that. On a stack filter inserter. And that should be able to keep up with these two, I think. Um, allegedly, if we add these up, if it was direct insertion, we would only need a quarter of a stack inserter to keep up. 
However, we do have to wait for them to output onto the belt. And also, it'll take an entire swing to output, like, one laser shielding data. But I think this will probably keep up. Probably. Yeah, it should. Uh, so we're going to... Blacklist Iridium Plate. And then we're going to Whitelist Iridium Plate. Right here. Um, like so. Uh, I don't think we need the stack inserter to keep up with the iridium plate, do we? Absolutely not. It also makes it a bit easier to distinguish between these. Okay, so we're unconditionally putting the, the iridium plate that ends up in these chests uh, into the machine. And we're going to have, let's see, yeah, only 10 per second. Okay, cool. If we have eight of these in a row. Um, we're going to have half a belt of material testing pack, half a belt of blank data card here, and then the long arm inserters are going to be reaching for iridium plate. And they're only going to be allowed to put Iridium Plate in if there isn't any in this chest. Um, let's see. I wonder if the... I, I have wondered this a couple of times, if the way I set this up has any impact on UPS. Even the most... even the smallest. Like, if I say everything has to be equal to zero, I imagine it can evaluate that just as quickly as Iridium plate equals zero. Assuming there is no signal coming in, which will be correct in this case. Um, so those two are pointing at the same machine. This one... Uh, I almost missed the fact that we need this over here as well. And this over here. Which way do I want to do this to look consistent? I think this is fine, actually. Okay. So we're going to need some more belts here. Uh, this belt might be a problem. We'll see. And the same, always come back to Factorio, so much you can do with all the huge mod packs, or just doing anything plain Factorio and achievements is fun. Yeah, there's an effectively endless amount of stuff to do with this game. Uh, is this... Two belts? Yeah, it is. It looks weird, though. That doesn't usually go there, does it? Let's see. Left, 90 per second. It does. Because of the... We don't need a lane balancer. In fact, that'll be a problem since we're trying to keep things on the same side of the belt. Uh, what two things are we doing here? Material testing pack and blank data card. Uh, those two are wrong. Where did I copy this from? 
think it was this stuff. Okay, those are correct. Oh, it's because I put um it's because I put the blueprint on top of it. Okay, so on this side, we're only swinging the inserters when we don't detect blank data cards. And on this side, it's when we don't detect testing packs. And we're reading from the inserter's hands and the belt. Oh. Um, multiply this by two. Forty per second. Uh, we kind of need more. I might, I might do this one a little bit different because the stack size for material testing packs is so 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 much smaller than blank data cards. Uh, in fact, it is one-fifth. So, if I have five to one, this is actually the same amount of storage for these two items. The only trouble is it'll take longer to unload the blank data cards, but at a rate of 40 per second, I don't think that's a problem. Uh, with four stack inserters. We could only fit one train load and a little bit more. We'd have to be bringing a train in every... Uh, 200 seconds. 3.3 minutes. It's not that bad, actually. Not only that, there are also self-inflicted calls. <laughs> That's a good way to put it. Have 5k SPM base or speed running? Indeed. No bots, no belts or trains. 8 beacon versus 12. Yeah, what... Uh, what was it? Uh, no pipe challenge that Intertooth has been doing? What is this? Uh-oh. Nalvis. Nalvis. Oh, it's the bot problem still. Uh, Swarm Safety 13 is coming. We're at 41%. And this is a rare opportunity. Huh. I was gonna say this is a rare opportunity to see yellow science in motion. But apparently it hasn't gotten to that point yet. Okay. I think we're still sending science up by cargo rocket. I haven't thought about it in a long time. Yeah, here it is. Hasn't been enough to trigger a launch yet. We've got... 100,000. That is a lot. 100,000 uh, science in each of these. Geez, you have rockets dedicated to specific science packs? Indeed. That is a lot of yellow science machines, yeah. Um, I do want to redo this with fewer machines and bigger beacons. But I can say that of a lot of stuff. Anyway, what was I building? Um, so I think it's going to be okay. It'll take like a second to unload our blank data cards. I mean, testing packs. So it's probably fine if we just have four inserters for blank data cards. Um, and we also need Iridium Plate, but we only need like uh, 20 per second. So we could probably do something like this. Iridium plate. And it doesn't really matter how we split it, does it? Um, 
20 per second is 5, 5, 5, and 5. It's also considerably less than one belt. So we can do this as basic as possible. I could not really squeeze it in there. Let's just do this uh, like a normal person. And down here. That's going to be in the way. Where am I going to... This might be a bit tricky. Oh, we're not doing a fluid input here anymore. Also, no, we do have a fluid output. So we'll probably keep those pipes if we can. Except it would be more convenient if this could go here. Uh, this will be fine, actually. Yeah. That'll do. Okay. And this goes here, actually. Let's get the rest of these long arms sorted out. So these two are pointing at the same machine. And these two. One, two, three, and four. should do it. And then, apart from that bit of belt or pipe, we should be able to copy that. Let's just, let's just remove everything else. Pipes. Just inserters, machines, and chests. And that goes here. Underground belt is in the way. Oh, that's fine. And same thing on this side. Wait, what? Hold on, something's I'm I think I I think I messed up. Let's copy this. Fantastic. Uh why do we not have the wire connections? Is all of this gonna be the same? There's a bit of this that needs removing. It actually is. Okay. 
Would it be strange if I told you that I've never even played the game vanilla? I'm up to around 180 hours played. Uh, I think that's the first I've heard of someone not playing it vanilla at all, but I guess if you if you hear of some quality of life mods before you play, uh, that's very understandable, for one thing. We do want blank data cards. Testing pack. Oh, hang on. Uh, we can only go for like 9,000 data cards. 48 times 50 times 4, 9,600. Okay, theoretically, if I set this to 9,600 and our request stack threshold is a full train, that should never overflow, but I bet it will. Uh, testing packs. Oh, what am I doing? 50? No, it's like 10. Uh... Five times, sorry, it is 20 chests, isn't it? 20 times 48 times 10 is also 9,600. I should have realized that. 9,600. And we're also looking for whatever number we want of Iridium plate. I'm just going to set it a bit more than one train load. Um, because it's going to be quite slow, and because the stack size is 40, we know that the usual 8,000 is a bit more than a train load. Actually, what's the recipe? 1 to 1 to 1, but it recycles. It's actually 50% Iridium plate, so... This is actually, like, considerably more than we need. Okay. So we've got our three physical inputs. We also need supercooled thermofluid, which I was thinking uh, we could put over here. I forgot to double check how quickly we will be getting contaminated scroll... 400 per second if we ever fill this block out. Um, wow. Okay. What if we just filled a half block? That's 200 per second. That is way more than a couple of belts. Hmm. How can we get the throughput for contaminated scrap? Even with this, it's a hundred per second. Oh, this is tw this is twenty data cards per second as it is before I fill out the rest of the block. I somehow don't think we'll need to expand this that much. It's just a feeling I have. Joining an in progress world can be quite daunting, indeed, especially if you're completely new. Uh, my mate of mine was playing, and I was watching him after two days of watching, I got it, and yeah, joined his game. Okay. Uh, where am I going to get rid of all this contaminated scrap? Hmm. We've got, like, one more tile of width we could use here. I could output, hmm, not sure. Uh, I'm going to take a quick break and hopefully come up with something, but I doubt it. On-site recycling, maybe? Yeah, I don't know. I think I'm going to have to significantly change the layout or slow it down um, to make this work. Or at least to make it not bottleneck on scrap output. Alright, back in a few minutes.
thank you, thank you. The idle train following looks so fun. Yeah, I like it. Good mod. Uh, this isn't a part of LTN itself. Uh, there's a mod called LTN Screensaver. I was muted, wasn't I? Whoops. Um, yeah, I, I don't know how I'm going to do this scrap output here. No? Okay, good. Um, why do we have... What? Did I accidentally turn some of our scrap spiders into construction spiders? I'm sorry. Please forgive me. Alright, I'll send them back to the mall to get sorted out. Uh, so this is the middle. I, I want this to be extensible, if possible. As much as this is already probably more than we'll ever need. Um, we do have a couple of belts down here, if I can take advantage of those. That might be the way to go. So instead of a blacklist of plate, this is going to be whitelist, uh, I was going to say whitelist, uh, laser shielding data. Yeah, because we need more than a full belt down this way. So what about... I'm just going to remove that for, my, for now. Make it a little bit easy to follow. And for contaminated scrap specifically, I believe we need one inserter per machine. Uh, I certainly hope that's all we need. Otherwise we're going to have to move these pipes a little bit. Might be a problem. I guess this will have to go down here. And just for symmetry, we'll do that. So I'll have one, two, three, four, five, six. Seven, eight. And this will be contaminated scrap only. Oh, that reminds me. I did make... I did make a new build for blank data cards. Um, 
uses fewer machines, has like double the throughput per, per block from these old things. But they're a little bit busy right now. Wait, I think I may... I th let, let's check. I may have set it up so that on the left side at least the input stations are going to be the same. I think this is all copper and this is all... No, this is all red circuits, this is all copper. So that's not going to be as easy to change as I would like. Um, if I stop requesting copper plate here though, those red circuits can stay where they are. These rough data storage substrates can stay where they are. The cosmic fluid, uh, cosmic water can stay where it is. And we'll be able to just remove these machines. Uh, the blank data cards are probably going to be emptied pretty quickly. I won't have too many chests to move around. Although, very unusually, um, the main output here is on the right side, and the scrap and stuff is on the left. That's the only thing that's going to be a bit more of an issue to tidy up. But yeah, um, we can actually just turn off the requests for copper. And once the copper runs out, we'll be able to update this. with relatively little issue. Okay. Scrap spiders? Uh, I've got those on Nalvis, but I haven't had that much use for them here. Okay, before I get too distracted. Oh, actually this could just... Do I want to do it that way? We're looking at 25 per second. That's more than a half belt. I want to balance them if possible. Uh, I need to remember that the beacon could be moved up. That might be helpful. Probably only by, like, a tile, though. What if this went here? And then this has to come down here somehow? I don't think it can. But what do scrap spiders do? Collect scrap for reprocessing? I think I may have misspoke earlier. I meant scaffolding spiders. Um, because there's so much scaffolding to be placed whenever we make a new block. I have a few spiders dedicated to mostly that. And the scaffolding kind of looks like scrap. Okay, um, I think this needs to go here, hmm, uh, this could maybe... Come down this way. I've often gotten confused between the scrap and the scaffolding, indeed. Uh, if this goes here... No, I, that's what I just changed. I need to merge these two. If I do it without a splitter... 
this will go on the right side of the belt. It won't be the same on this side. Do we even save any space if I do that without a splitter? It doesn't get me... It doesn't get our underground, underground belt through. Scrap folding, indeed. Why can't we just use scrap for space platform scaffolding? Hmm? The scaffolding looks very grey goo-like. Pose. Uh, this beacon actually makes things really tricky. Fifty per second. So if I double it, it's more than two belts. So we really can't double this vertically. Which means I have a lot more freedom to put this beacon wherever I like. So if I put it way down here, for example. Um, How am I going to get those two together? You know what, I think I'm too attached to this layout, like, it's... We've got more throughput than we need, and this layout is, like, too constricting, so... Why don't we just get rid of all of this? Although, parts of it, um, are definitely... Good. I might just hold on to that. And we'll we'll tear all this up and kind of start from scratch. Well, not from scratch. I like the belts, definitely. Get rid of all this old stuff. That's gonna stay there actually. Okay, what if... Get rid of everything except that substation. Don't need this. Okay, let's start this with a clear head. Bearing in mind we're going to need lots of output for the scrap. So input is two belts. Uh, and output is at least two belts. I do want to see if I can fit fit this over here. Iridium plate is going to be quite slow. No, it's fine. That goes... That actually goes here. This is the maximum we can fit under one beacon vertically, and I think we will be using that. So, something like this perhaps. If we multiply that by four, 
We're looking at four belts of contaminated scrap out, one belt of laser shielding data, 30 per second for each input, except for Iridium plate, which is half of that. That's looking pretty reasonable to me. Uh, I think I'll swap it around so that we have two outputs and we'll do the inputs on the outside since they're going to be nice and slow. I like to place it so that the fluid follows the physical items, uh, if I can. Just easier to keep track of. Except if that's the case, we're going to have more space here. Funny how I thought this build would be easy. Uh, let's put in our pipes. Make sure we have room for those. I wonder... ooh. That might be a good idea. Okay, how far out can I put this so it's still touched by the beacon? Pretty far. And we'll have the inputs as close to the beacon as possible, I think. Can we pull that off? We'll have room for two belts down here. Is that enough? Uh, that is very much enough. 15 per second testing pack, blank data card, and 7.5 per second Iridium plate. Okay. So we'll have input belts here. And I'll just confirm that we're not going to be out of space for the inserters. Uh, if we start with the usual, then we're going to want to put this here, and that's going to be a problem. So I'll stagger that by one. And I don't prefer to have the inserters reaching past each other if I can help it. So something like that. Cool. That should be fine. Now then. I was thinking we could save a bit of piping space if... I was going to say if we have an underground like this, but it's a bit far away. Any, It's a bit close anyway on this side. And this is as far away as it can be. Okay. Output, 75 plus 15 is 90 per second. We need two belts of output here. Uh, we should be able to fit that quite easily. We need to use both sides of the belt though. We only need uh, one stack inserter for output. 
but there's plenty of room in case we're wrong about that. Uh, we can pretty easily fit our pipes. Like so. And I think we'll do the mirror of that over here. Which means we can bring all of these in a bit. Excuse me. Um, we need to swap iridium plate. Well, we don't strictly need to. Um, actually, we kind of do, because this is 90 per second out, ignoring the iridium plate. So if we do filter the iridium plate off the belt, we're going to be bottlenecking by 7.5 per second. Uh, so, I think we can just swap these with long arms. And we've got a nice, consistent pattern here. Let's go clockwise, I guess. I should have included the wiring for that, but I just wanted to see it all lining up. Um, I'll decide later which one of these is going to be the Iridium Plate, but for this side, I don't think it matters too much. 1.25 per second, and then the Iridium Plate is half of that. Um, it still generally makes sense to have the slower input be on the long arm inserters. That's okay, I can piggyback off of this long arm. So this one will be unconditional. And this one will be... Iridium plate has to equal zero. Swarm safety is complete. Hopefully that means we stop... Oh. Hopefully that means we just saw the last of... No overflow chest, I beg to differ. Hopefully that's the last of the bots crashing here. We're at 6,540. It just went back up to 43 logistic bots. Okay. Swarm safety 13 is what we've got, and it's 500 per level. 6,500. We are still slightly above. We need to finish Swarm Safety 14. I'm surprised that I've caught myself having to say that, but here we are. Okay, I'm liking this build a lot better so far. Um, so... Does that reach? It does. Lucky. And this one? Wait, I think this one's from... Needs to be the inputs. Okay, so these two... These two... Let me just remove the extra stuff. It's only 
of this part that we care about right now. That goes there, that goes there, and that one's already set up. And it might be the same... well, no, it's not. Uh, on the other side, if we flip this around. Uh, I think I would rather just build this first. Yeah, let me just make sure those have the correct settings, and these ones have no settings. I'll wait till I've actually finalized which belt is going to be which um, before I follow up with the rest of that. Should I mirror this for great symmetry? Uh, these need to come in one tile. Wait. Or did they need to go out one tile? Whoops. That's less surprising. One, two, three. One, two, three. We've got just enough room without imposing on the pylon substation. Okay, so I'll mirror that one. And I guess. Cut and flip this one. It's going to be the easiest way to do that. Fantastic. And we'll figure out the middle ones after we've got um, the belts finalized. So, inputs. Less than one belt, less than one belt, way less than one belt. Uh, it's kind of hard to believe this needs four belts of output, but each of these is less than one in. Fluid is nice and slow. We don't need to worry too much about the shape of the pipes. Um... Yeah, I think we can pretty much do what we want uh, with the input belts. Uh, I do want to merge and split these properly. So we'll start with, let's say, there's actually th three inputs. Let's go to the right on this one. I have to solve this problem recently, actually. Maybe that would look better if the splitter was over here somewhere. Okay, so we're gonna we're gonna have both of these belts go to the middle and one goes here and one goes here. I think it was the scaffolding build where I had to figure that out. Yeah, this is it. The steel. Not to mention the other thing. Uh, it's actually the exact same problem. Cool. Uh, I would just copy this, but I need space belt instead. 
So... Let me just draw it. Where do I start? How about... Here. looks weird because this goes here and then this part looks like this and the end is obvious and then this other thing is just a mirror of that okay cool I'll just take that back to orbit. Uh, the only thing is, I kind of need... Well, let's do this first. That's going to go about there. This one... Go this way, perhaps. That looks a little odd, not gonna lie. If we're doing it this way, the combined inputs will be on the right. side. actually only need one belt for material testing pack, so that one's just straightforward and really easy. Just bring this down here, split it wherever you like. I was going to say we could bring this up X many tiles, but there's probably no need. That can be a chain signal. So I'll just check again. It's 15 per se 30 per second for our desired output. If we were to double the whole thing, that would be more than one belt. But it would be more than eight belts of contaminated scrap. I don't know if we're going to make room for that. We'll see. Um, we do need... Oh, I like this, actually. So this is going to be everything except for Iridium Plate. Oh. Oh no. Uh. I, I overlooked something. 
There's no such thing as filtered long arm inserters. Um, I think we can fix it though. Because we're not using the maximum distance with the long arm inserters. So we can move this over here. This becomes a filter inserter. This becomes a filter inserter. This goes over here. Um, that's just going to need more underground. Or the same amount of underground, I suppose. I think for consistency's sake, I might... That one's going to be a problem. I think. Hmm. Well, in any case, I might put this up here. And that gives us room to do this one as well. And if this is on this side of the belt and swaps, it's going to be close by. So I think this part can be an underground. I need to rotate some of these machines as well. Um, so yeah, that becomes a filter. That goes there. This goes... that's a problem. Um, this becomes a filter inserter. That goes there. This has to go here. 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 Uh, and this one as well needs to change. So that becomes a similar problem. Uh, do we have somewhere else we can fit swapping the sides of the belt? Oh, we just need to move this up a tile. In fact, that becomes a much more consistent look and also much easier to deal with and mentally pass. So everything near the pipe is the iridium plate swapping stuff. And everything else is the scrap and data output. Liking this build actually. Yeah, I like that a lot. Okay. 
And just to double check, okay, even if even if I was wrong about this, we have room. In fact, I might just put this here for the aesthetic and also to eliminate the possibility of that mistake. But if it was on this side of the belt and it swaps, it goes here, it should have fit into the underground. Okay. That goes there. That goes there. And these are all going to be Blacklist, Iridium Plate. And these ones are going to be Whitelist, Iridium Plate. And that'll give us our output. Okay, so this is getting deleted. We're going to copy, paste, flip this over. I'm going to make absolutely sure that the fluids are rotated properly. Looking good. In fact, why don't I delete all but the first row? Triple check this one. And copy paste it. Now then, uh, we need to unite our, what is this, 15, 12, 11, there's no way to do a, a nice, neat, Bunch of connections here, is there? Okay. It's gonna look something like that. We need to connect these wires. Uh, I need to make sure I've decided which side is which. Iridium plate is on the left. So, in this case, the short inserters. Uh, so let's go ahead and connect all of those. I'm surprised that reaches, honestly. Blue inserter. And last but not least. Okay, I'm gonna copy all of these. That one is out of place. And copy all of these. Fantastic. Now we need to do the same thing, but with the long arms instead. Uh, but first, I think... Uh, Zinquio, thank you for the follow Welcome, Markin. Hope you're doing well. First, I think we can copy, paste, flip this part, and all of that should line up 
perfectly. And then we've got the correct settings on all of these as well. I can actually copy these settings across before I bother connecting the wires. And now we just need to connect red to red. Uh-oh, what's this? Um, I think this implies there is an equal and opposite mistake over here. No? That's weird. Oh, I... Did I not, like, delete this first? Yeah, I think this was in the wrong place before. Yeah, that should be okay. On second thought, I'm not going to risk it. Because it would be difficult to find. Uh, thank you, Kappa Beast. Welcome, welcome. Hope you're doing well. Alright. So, this goes to here. This goes... I feel like I missed one. This goes here. It's the two inserters that are facing the same machine. This one goes here. This one... It's easier to start from here, I think. And... This one... Wait, what? Oh, yeah, no, that's that's right. One, two, three, four, five, six. It is done. Now then. Uh, does that go there? Yeah, it does. And we do not want to lane balance this. Uh, we do actually want to lane balance this one. Although theoretically... Uh... Theoretically, this should take from both sides of the belt equally. I think. And also, it's going to be so slow that this will be able to catch up. Yeah, I don't think we need a lane balancer for that. Uh, are we just about ready? For the inputs, anyway? I think so. Alright, so four belts of output. We need to bring the uh, which way do I want to do this? I think the other way around. We want to bring our data cards together. I think I'll filter this in a positive way here, where we have the data cards in the middle. I think that's more readable. So, that's gonna go there. That needs an underneathy. That goes there. These two will come down uh, this way. Uh, the fast inserters can handle two belts, I think. 
So even if we double this whole thing and merge from over there, just bringing these together and bringing them down to a splitter should be fine. I don't usually love putting inserters picking up from a corner, but it's only 30 per second. Uh, and it's a balanced loader. Okay. I might just do it like this. I don't love the look of that. What if we bring this over a tile, bring that around, and then that goes there, but then it's going to look even weirder if we bring that in from over there. Oh well. So four belts of scrap, you say. There's no output fluid? No, there is output fluid. Um, that kind of makes it difficult if we ever want to double this. I could just put the fluid drop off. I mean, I'm, I'm going to have the... Uh, Fluid input down here was the plan. Like I've often done with the 275 degree thermofluid. But we need room for the output fluid as well. But I think we can actually do it somewhere like here. Almost. Not quite. At least, not with the shape of the belts we've got. Hmm. I might bring this to the middle instead. So... Bring this around like so. And let's say we put our fluid pickup here. We can't fit both fluid pickup and drop off there, but that's okay. Can we fit our splitters here or not? It might actually be better doing it with a corner. Start to cut, laser shielding. Uh, we've got one, two, three, four. We need room for five belts. I don't know if that's working. Uh, we could do this. I think that's probably the way to go. Except the storage tanks would go here. Okay. So get rid of that. I do kind of like this layout though. Um, bring this down. Oh, only problem with this is if we do want to double it. There won't be room for the output belt. About this. Let's finish this part. And 
this goes here, actually. And I want this belt. This belt's already going to be balanced, right? Yeah, yeah, it is. So that can literally just come down here like so. And we can easily make that two belts later if we want to. Okay, so that gives us... One, two, three, four. It's actually pretty neat. And what am I looking for? Loader. I should just use splitters. Well, I did do that. I, I was trying to come up with a new way to balance um, really fast outputs. Haven't really succeeded. Um, what I was trying out... Negative 24, that's a bit lower than I thought I remembered doing. Um, if I do a balanced loader across like 48 chests, if I just reduce... yeah, 24 is excessive. Um, if I pretend that we've only got, let's say, 40 chests, um, I think that'll actually give me the behavior that I was looking for a while ago, where I had the individual inserters set up so that they could each go a bit ahead of the average, but what happened instead was everything would get uh, very, very lopsided, like more and more lopsided, but I think if I just pretend there are fewer containers than there actually are, And, or was it, I was going to pretend there's more containers than there are. I just want it to, to be somewhat balanced. Um, but go as fast as possible. Because we're already balancing it with the belts. But I don't want to put like a 1 to 6 split it here, just to ensure that these are perfectly balanced, for example. Anyway. Let's go with... Active provider here. many belts of output here. One. Wish these would reach over six tiles. And we could pull this off. Two. I guess the other two could go around the side. Uh, should also probably throw in a balancer. This is as good a place as any. It's 
It's actually a really good fit. Why don't we bring you a tile over? instead of a three and a five. Okay. So if we were to double this and take up space or something like that. I think I missed it by one tile. This part would look something like this. This could go here to here. Well, we need to merge and split this as well. I know I'm probably not going to use that throughput ultimately, but I want to design it that way anyway. I would prefer if all four of these could just come down here. That would be much easier. Literally, if we could skip one more tile with space underground belts. I guess a lot of things would be a lot easier with that. Uh, so this one is going to come down here. And so on. Uh, we've got plenty of room here because we don't have to do the fluid this way on this side. So why don't we just... Why don't we just get some kind of balancer in? I guess it doesn't need to be a lane balancer. Yeah, it really doesn't need to be a lane balancer. Can I make a wide version of this that's not so long? I don't think so. But do we even need to? Absolutely not. over here. It's a bit short for an underground. And this would just sort of look wrong.
Yeah, that works. Okay. Uh, input fluid... Oh. I have left room for it, right? I'm pretty sure. Can't really underground it through that, but we don't need to. Just need to find a way in. That's a little bit annoying. Let's go for a five. And that's four figures. I guess I go for a seven here. this. 9, 10, 11, 12. Seems good. Okay. I kind of do want to double this just because I can. Also because I think this recipe is... Yeah, this recipe is five seconds, and our the other recipe that we're going to copy this block for, but without the fluid output, is ten seconds. So I think I'll build this, like, ridiculously, you know, doubled up, and we'll just remove it after I copy-paste it later, perhaps. Um, so it was laser shielding data. And then electrical shielding data has mostly the same shape. It's just twice as slow. We get more iridium plate back. And the fluid input is different, and we don't have a fluid output. It's pretty much the same thing, but easier. Okay. In that case... Uh, let's copy this part over here. That's going to be different. I notice an asymmetry. this again. Wait, I think this recipe is also going to be easier because we're not dealing with um, the incredibly small stack size of material testing pack. I'm sure glad I didn't make electrical shielding data and then look at this one and just say, oh, it's the same thing but with the fluid output basically. Let's just copy-paste, and oh no. That would be bad. Okay, this goes here, and then we hope and pray that we can get third tiles on each side. Rip. And that's eight, which is the worst. Okay. Rip. Symmetry. Not that it was perfect anyway. Nor could it be. 
uh, let's put some stack inserters over here. Get some iridium plate over here as well. And then this goes here ish. One tile over. That should be maybe the same. Where is that going? Oh, I see. What is... There we go. Okay, uh, I'll just make sure I'm not accidentally flipping which side is which for the Iridium Plate, which I probably am. Yeah, this whole thing needs to be flipped around, I think. For the inserters and chests. Uh, so Iridium Plate is long arm, long arm, and on the right side here. And that means all of these are wrong. Okay. Why don't we remove all these inserters? We'll make a blueprint of this. Remove the parts that we can't flip. Great blueprint. Flip. And that should be that. That seems good. Fantastic. Alright, so this thing would give us uh, 60 laser shielding data per second. It also consumes 60 blanks. I, Yeah, that's a bit much. But we'll be able to just copy-paste edit this to make our next block. Uh, for the most part. Okay. This is going to be... I think it's 25 degree thermofluid. Oh, we've gone a bit over time today. Uh, all that's actually left for this build is to set up the stations. Um, let's do it. So we got... I actually already did this combinator, so that's good. I'll just summon the trains on the left side so that we can hopefully see this working quite soon. And Iridium Plate. Uh, switch that on. Wait, don't switch that one on. And we need some 275 degree thermofluid. No provide stack threshold. Wait. I got that backwards. No request stack threshold. We do want a provide stack threshold for the physical items. And a request stack threshold for fluid. 273 degree thermofluid. Uh, switch that off for the moment. Double check. 273, 25. Cool. 
Uh, and our final product is called laser shielding data. And that's what we're providing here. And we are requesting negative 273. Fantastic. This one is just provide threshold 100k, high priority. And this one is contaminated scrap. Provide, oops. Uh, provide stack threshold 160. Fluid is on its way, as is iridium plate. I could have bumped this up to at least three train loads since we've got three different uh, resources coming in, but considering we're going to be going through material testing packs quickly, I think a really high train limit is appropriate here. Also, it's really not going to take long to output anything except for the blank data cards. Since we've got a stack size of 40 for Iridium Plate, uh, a stack size of 10 for Material Testing Pack, and blank data card is 50. Alright, there's our Iridium Plate input. Uh, we need some signals over here, and that one's fine. Let's update that. Fluid incoming. Oh, I need to make sure that's connected everywhere as well. Uh, let's put a 7 here. will have to be a 5, and that could be a 3B, actually. Oh, wait, this could be a 5 -er. That's much neater. One, two, three, four, five, six. I should do a deconstruction planner here. Regular space pipe. 5, 10, 15, 20, 25, 30. That's, that's good. And long space, uh, five length space pipe goes there. I was looking at this because I was thinking, yeah, we can use a 3B here. Can I pick it up from somewhere else? That's not going to reach. It's one off reaching. Sad. Uh, this needs to connect here anyway. 3 goes here. Fantastic. Uh, and we won't be doing that again. Fiver. Freebie. That's pretty neat. And all we're waiting on is blank data cards. And somehow... Uh-oh. What happened? How did... How did we get material testing packs on both? Oh, I forgot to... Mm, that's embarrassing. Okay. Alright. 
Uh, I needed to simply move this over a little bit for the most part. Um, not like that. One job, indeed. Okay, so that goes there, that goes there. Same thing on this side. We need to move all of this over to the right, actually. I thought it would be mirrored, but no. I guess we could have mirrored it. Not with the right side bias of the uh, inserters. Actually, that would be a bit weird. Okay, we need to clear a bunch of testing packs um, from these belts. going to be a little bit of a headache. Where can we drop them off? Right here. It's going to be easy enough to fix. Um, let's pick up all of this and these and those. And that should probably be enough. Let's put our spiders into a network that's going to take the testing packs away. Yeah, this is a very weird lopsided thing that I haven't built before. Uh, I have, a, I get the feeling blank testing card, uh, blank data cards are... Uh, oh, that's right, I switched these off. Uh, that also helps, I guess. Do we have blank data cards here? 35,000? What's happening? Why aren't we picking them up? Oh, I didn't connect this yet. Okay, here's our blank data cards. I don't suppose you happen to be... No, you're going somewhere else. I'm going to hijack this one. Um, it's going to pick up blank data cards, and then it's going over here, and then here, and once it does its little loop-de-loop, because -loop, it, I couldn't instantly give those orders, and it goes to the temporary stop first. Alright, so let's connect the logistic train stop output to this thing, like it should have been connected in the first place. Okay, that's just rude. Please be moving out of the way. And what's this? Spiders are looking good. I don't think we need them here anymore, but I could be wrong. There's our blank data cards getting loaded finally, and I can't believe we've got 35,000 of them here. I guess the fact that we get one blank data card per recipe from these things every time kind of helps. So, suddenly we have a store of blank data cards that'll last us at least five seconds. And I think the first thing I'm doing, uh, whether it's next stream or off stream, is replacing these blank data card builds 
uh, with some that are twice as fast. But here comes our data. I need to put in some radar construction pylons so that we can see this stuff all the time. Well, to be honest, it's really only like LTN screensaver where that matters. Um, since we can just navigation satellite this whenever we want. But I will take that into consideration. And here we go. I thought this belt was messed up as well before I remembered we have three physical inputs. Uh, what is this inserter doing? Oh! Oh no. Okay. Uh... Okay, okay, okay. That should be fine. It won't be too imbalanced. Oh, we've already run out? Wait, what? I thought we brought 8,000. What did... What did... 8,000. Are you telling me four inserters consumed 8,000? Uh, picked up 8,000 that quickly? I feel like I missed something and that wasn't actually 8,000. But hey, the recipe's working. Still got a few too many testing packs here. Why is this one not working? Oh, I missed some thermo fluid on that side. Why is this one not working? Because we missed a little bit of belt. Okay. What would be the best way to get that connected? Probably just here, to be honest. There we go. Wait, what? No, the whole middle doesn't have any. Oh. That... 10 out of 10. Genius. Left columns not getting cards? Yeah. There's no more cards here for the moment, either. Uh... What's the best way to... I think like this, actually. One, two, three. And I'll do the same thing on the opposite side. That'll do. And that justifies my little bridge that I built here. Why not? Uh, if I did a 7 here? No. 5. Not really. It's not going to look much better than that. And there is our copious amounts of... Scrap. Uh, let's just... Put no condition on these. At least for now. Okay. Uh, that's our build, I believe. And we have 312 uh, laser shielding data 
Well, we're literally just waiting on blank data cards. Um, this thing's stupid quick. I only really finished building this part out now because we're going to be able to copy-paste edit this for our next build. Alright, uh, let's find someone to raid. Who is playing Factorio today? We've got Mucky, Red Specs Gaming, uh, Zimultus is doing speedruns again. Anyone doing space exploration, maybe? Mm, not in English that I can see. Thanks for the stream, no worries. Thanks for hanging out, Blue Lightning. Uh, didn't even say it yet. Welcome, welcome. Hope you're doing well. Good to see you again. And thank you for the follow, uh, the Cody the Cody DJ. Uh, let's give Mr. Red Specs a try today, shall we? Continuing with mini blocks. Alright. Thank you all for watching. Hey, you got it right. Haha. Uh -huh. <laughs> no worries. Yeah, I know I messed it up last time. Oh, someone... Oh, that's check. Okay. Yeah, I don't think there were any space explorations that were English right now. By T Hex, see you, Veldek. Thank you all for watching. Do take care, and I'll see you next time. Check out the Discord or Blueprints if you like, if you have any questions or anything, by all means. And for now, let's drop in on Red Specs. Take care, fat boy. The uh, up full cut. All right, let's go. Red, and then we're gonna do shift right, left. These are now solar arrays. We're being raided by Tyson Tyrannosaurus Hex. Love that name. Awesome. Defend the keep, friends. Defend the keep. Incoming Hex raid. What up? How are you? Thanks for the raid. I appreciate that. That was very kind of you. Very kind to bring your community over to my stupid little channel. 